Right, we are starting the broadcast. This hangout is on air and live, and we are back again with the After Dark session. Uh, John's been saying it all night, yet yeah, that the storm is coming. It's hit, guys. If it had hit 10 minutes earlier, I'd be soaking wet and happy, but it is pissing down. Now, we're going to keep our eyes out for the thunder. Well, ears open for the thunder, eyes open for the watch call it, for the flashes. The light. If it gets too close, yeah, I don't know if my computer's got a surge protector. Uh. If everything goes off, yeah, I haven't dropped, the electricity has. All right. I think the hangout dies, though, doesn't it? Because you're... Uh... Oh, well. If it does, we can get it, does, it back. I so. think what we're going to have to realistically say, yeah, is if I lose power, generally, yeah, if it's a quick flash, I reckon I can get back in and there's an option to resume the hangout. Oh, okay. We've got... Uh, Chris is saying you guys deserve a break. Truly great effort from you both today. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers, dude. Chris. He's in Portsmouth, so he's up quite late as well. I say that, though. He was out on the piss, so I don't know if that, that really counts. People in Portsmouth are still out on the piss, mate. <laughs> yeah. I, you see, I don't know if that counts as, like, a good effort on his behalf, or, like, a really It's a poor effort that he's back home before he, two yeah. o'clock. <laughs> it was not in my day when, when we were kids. Man, I was we out, out on the Raz. We were out on the Raz. And then you'd always end up in someone's house that you never knew. Yeah, on the party. You'd be like, I never knew this house was here, but fuck it. Let's drink, let's carry on. Dude. Yes. Is it me who's playing live? I think I... Am I, am I playing live? You will be. Because yeah, I... Yeah, I am. Off. Yeah. There you go. I, I made that mistake. I was like, not again. <laughs> yes, yeah, I've got that sorted now. Now, the interesting thing is, did you hear that? No, I missed... Oh, yeah, I can hear it. Oh, the air is getting fresh, it's getting a bit cooler, and the Melda train tutor is looking a little bit happier. This is second wind for me. If I can cool down, it's not the hours that are an issue, it's the heat with me. I don't do well in heat. Okay, I really don't. Well, you're a Brit, mate, it's expected, you know. You know, and it's been really annoying me that, you know, I wanted to get more on this build done. I did not want to watch her walk away from it unfinished, or collapse unfinished. But this thunderstorm has just dropped the temperature. Oh, right. It's cr right, okay, I need to do a little bit of sanding. Yeah, because I've got to put my score marks in this. So I'm just going to very quickly mute my mic while I just do probably two, three minutes worth, matey. All right. I'm going to see who we still have with us. So where are we up to, guys? Um, thanks, mate. Yeah, let's just point out that I'm thinning on top. Fuck's sake. How rude. I mean, not as bad as Mel, granted, but Jesus. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, I keep telling the missus that we need to get a shower in this house. Sadly, all we have access to is a bath. And I'm like, no, I need, I need a shower. <laughs> like... I, I'm just not a bath person. I just much prefer showers. You're muted still. <laughs> so you're like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Could be saying anything. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Clearly, that was the best impression of Mel ever. <laughs> Who's that to? To Mel? I'd, um, I'm sure he'd appreciate it, mate. Like, you know, he's, he's not, I'm, I'm sure he's not one to pass up on freebies if you're, you're genuinely wanting to send him resin molds, mate. I'm sure that would be, uh, that'd be grand. <laughs> I'm just guessing that was some thunder. <laughs> Does that not set Oz off? Like, nah, you see, my mum's dog, literally, he's the biggest softy ever. He's a big dog. And like, you know, he's the sort of size of dog that when uh, <laughs> when she goes out walking with him, everyone's kind of like, 
oh shit, that's a big dog. We'll just like walk over to uh, <laughs> walk over to the other side of the street, kind of thing. But he is like the softest thing ever. He's like, afraid of the dark. He won't go out to the toilet at night without someone being there with him. Like even into street lights. So you know you get that kind of orangey glow from the light. So it's not quite pitch black, but it's dark. Nope, someone's got to go out with him, otherwise he's like, nope, not interested. Um, but yeah, he's, he's afraid of thunder, lightning, fireworks, he goes and hides under the chair. <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, Ice Wolf. It, you know, it, it takes a lot to be as good looking and, you know, uh, to keep a, a very unkempt beard like this. So, you know, good on you. Yeah, he's muted himself because he is sanding. Oh, I saw that flash. Mate, that was there. That was amazing. So, yeah, I'm actually being assaulted by flying ants at the minute, so... About three miles. Oh no, quite quite far. Eight miles. Four. Okay. <laughs> Train by moonlight? No. Train by lightning. <laughs> and we're back up to ten. And if you are here, don't forget to like the video. Share it with your friends. I can't promise how late we'll be up, but we'll be up until one of two things happens. Well, maybe even one of three. We're up till stuff's done. We're, oh, we're, drop. Up, we're up till Mel drops, or we're up till the point where someone actually donates fifty bucks or fifty quid. Mel ends up with tits on his head, uh, bra, looking like tit head, <laughs> and collapses through exhaustion from wearing oh, like man. wearing like head warmer <laughs> bra. I'll tell you what, that was a wicked bit of lining, wasn't it? Yeah, man, that was that right. Came after it, that was proper rolling. Zeus has just taken an almighty dump on England. <laughs> and here starts the rocks. Last piece, though, to have the rock done, and after this, we're actually fitting the plastic bits into it, which is like, that's not too hard. That's not too strenuous. The rain stopped, though. Now, I don't know if that means I'm in the middle of the eye of the storm or whether we're getting more coming. Um, you might be getting the one that we got not that long ago. I don't know, but you, you're, you're on the other side, though, so you might just be getting the beginnings of... Oh, there's another rumble. ...the stuff that's coming. I just hope it cools the air down. That was lovely for a second then. I actually felt like I could get shit done. <laughs> so, who have we got left? So, we're on 11 viewers. 12 viewers. Listen, all the viewers, shout up in the comments so we know who's, we've got it with us. Who's here for the late session? Hey, John, if anyone ever questions an hourly rate, just point them at one of these videos. And say, <laughs> How much do you think you can get done? Okay, no, I, I can live with that. Thanks, man. Wayne's saying I look like uh, Edgar Wright. Except, obviously, I think he's got a bit more hair. <laughs> As in, actually has some on top. <laughs> Mine's so thinning out, it's bad. <laughs> but... Oh. Well, that, I saw another go. flash over there, then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Nine. Mm -hmm. So I've got lightning over there about four miles away, and I've got lightning over there. I'm in the middle of a lightning storm. Happy days. Happy days. 
I, I will say this though, I may be thinning, but uh, you're not melting, are you? No, no. My my dad was bald by the time he was like 20, so yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Be grateful, dude. Like I'm I'm lasting much longer than him, so that's an achievement in my eyes. <laughs> You I'm sell it, mate. I'm that. fully with you on that count. My brother was bald at 16. Nah, that would be... Nah. You see, it was horrible for him, especially because I took the piss the whole way through. As now <laughs> that I look back and think, you were a tight bastard. As a child, <laughs> it was bloody glorious. It's just an instant win, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what siblings are like? Yeah. Evil to each other. Unless there's someone else on the outside. And then we're evil to them. Yeah, definitely. Although I hated my brother growing up. Like, honestly, we were like enemies. I think we all did. You know, it's one of those things that you only sort of appreciate your brother once you sort of grow up. I think sibling rivalry and just being rammed in the same space with someone who, you know, just because you're brothers doesn't mean you've got any shit in common. Yeah. Other than, you know... Your brothers. Your brothers, yeah. I was going to be a bit more graphic and say, you know, you, you, chances are you came out of the same vagina, but... <laughs> that, that, That's about that. it. Um, yeah, guys, uh, we're still at it. Yeah, yeah, we're still at it. We're, we've only just started the next session. We're only ten minutes in, guys. Chill out. Told you, this gets built or I drop doing it. Um, well, listen to that bugger. <laughs> yeah, the lag seems a lot better. That's why we've got no rain. I think the um, the comments may um, be down to like the number of comments. So that might have an impact on how quickly it refreshes. So when it gets to like a super long video, it takes longer and longer to refresh it. Ah, that would make sense because the data file would be longer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So are we getting comments quicker now? Yeah, they're being like the start really, of the really video. quick. Right. So yeah. Okay, that's something to bear in mind. Um, they're not coming through that quick on the comment tracker, but they are coming through quicker on. Like I say, mate, it's free. I can't really complain. Oh, yeah. I no. mean, how much would it cost you to broadcast this? Do you know what I mean? If you were having to pay for this sort of service. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot. As a commercial service, I'd hate to think. We need to have a charity bill just to raise the money to have the charity bill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're here to raise the money to raise the money for the other event. Beasts of War are going to try and do that. Have a Kickstarter to put themselves back on TV, on Sky TV again. I didn't even know they were on Sky TV. Yeah, yeah, they had a good stint. It was a good show. But, you know, this was when they had money. Wow. You know, and now they've gone out on their own. I think budgets are more tighter because, you know, they haven't got Wayland Games behind them. I mean, I'm not saying Wayland was a massive en enterprise, but, you know, it was. It, I, it must have been a nice safety net for them. Have a bit of back end, yeah. So what was it, just the, the Tactica stuff and rumours and, and all that sort of thing? Well, they, they sort of had a live sort of battle night. So it was oh, like okay. chilling at the bar with a battle but on Sky TV. I think you could ring in and all sorts, and, you know, it was a full-on show. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, really? You've gone oh, sorry, back mate. and watched it's the first video, haven't you? Have. You've gone back and watched it. I haven't gone back and watched it. <laughs> I haven't. It's just in my head. And after I've learned the words, it's going to stay in there, isn't it? <laughs> Until something else pushes it out. My milkshake brings all the boys. Th th those words are fucking easy. Um, you know, it's a miracle what music today actually means. The shit you can get away with in the music industry. Right. right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh...
Oh, okay. Chris is saying, yeah, he's getting old and boring, so that excuses him for coming back early. Um, Ice Wolf was saying about he's, he's serious about sending stuff, like resin molds and things. Cool. Um, so, I guess drop mail a message and... We'll see what we can sort, mate. I'd appreciate anything you can send my way. Genuinely. And if, like say, if I can't find a home for it, we will find a happy home for it. Grim saying, um, Naked Man making terrain. Did I queue in the wrong channel? Where We had that before. Um, Rusty Beat was saying, Terrain by Moonlight, Hills After Dark, A Man and His Foam. <laughs> um, well, we're coming up with alternative titles now. Quite possibly, yeah. Um, can you slow down the flipping of one screen to another? I think it's um, because I'm talking like a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can control that because obviously it focuses on Mel primarily because he's the like the host and stuff. And then because I'm sort of reading through the comments and things, it will kind of if I pause, it will bounce away and then bounce back. Um, so. I think you're just going to have to deal with that, guys. I'm sorry. For what uh, happens, I've just focused it on me for a little while while you sort of catch up if that's cool, and then we'll flip it that's back. That's fine. Just if they want to have a look what I'm doing and that sort of stuff. So are you playing catch up on the comments, are you? Yeah, just about. We're back up to 18 people now. Um, yeah, they're saying the lag's better, like 20 seconds. Yep, Smitty M14's here. Grim saying he's here for the late session. Um, Ice Wolf saying Holland's still loud and screaming. Yeah. Um, Judge Dredd's present. J Judge, didn't you like bugger off and now you've come back again? He made a donation as well. Yep. We know uh, Judge Dredd. Uh, Chris he is saying. Donation. I hope he did. <laughs> Chris is here for now, but he's getting sleepy. Um, Pussy. To you, sir, I say, man the fuck up. If you're not going to stay out late at night drinking, you can at least stay up and watch this. Um, <laughs> I mean that in the best possible sense, but uh, yeah, we're we're just ripping the shit with you, mate. You know, if you're lightweight and you can't take a full night out or watching like people make terrain, then you funny. know, go to yeah. bed. <laughs> Some people can't handle that. Yeah, it's just the way we roll. We're hardcore hobbyists. Um, I'm still on a promise, you know. She may be asleep, but I'm still on a frigging hey, promise. That, she's technically already said yes, so it's fine. <laughs> got it on camera. If I build, <laughs> it's a yes. I'm sure that counts. Um, Will you be my witnesses? <laughs> well, to the statement, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to the statement, guys. Yeah, just, just clarify that. I know this um, is an after dark show, but we ain't getting there. So, Mark Tukey saying, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, Hi, see, I might have said this wrong, and I, if I did before, I'm really sorry. Is it Highland or High Glen terrain? Um, I think it's Highland terrain. Uh, still going at it. it. As well. Yeah, I, I'm just making sure because I don't want to, like, you know, butcher someone's tag. It's it's not on, you know, because I, I I log in and I get John McLeod every time. So I, I'd hate for someone to he be does, on the you know. end. <laughs> Even though I know his right name, I still call him John McLeod. <laughs> um. Smitty M14 says, going bald means your head has been rubbing the headboard too much. That's coming from a bald guy, yep. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Um, or too many U-turns under the sheets for the ladies. Either way, I don't see that as a bad thing. Yeah. Depends what the, why, why the need for the U-turn, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Rusted says, speaking of, the Weekender should be up soon. <laughs> yeah, I could finish this and watch the Weekender. <laughs> Uh, Chris is saying, ah, oh, no, not milkshake again. No, no, we're not doing... Ooh, that was a good one. Yep. No, we're not doing milkshake again, don't panic. We haven't had a donation for a song for a while, so I'm not singing until I get a donation. Yeah, so we requested milkshake again, the topless version. Oh, okay. Right, let's... Oh, Judge has been there the whole time. And yeah, he was responsible for the Muppets. Yeah, yeah, I knew he had made a donation. Um, okay, we've got you bastards. Dark Side's here still. Yep, good. Um, Joel Tyre's popping back in to see how it's going. Um, yeah, ju like I said, Judge has been here for a while. Well, Judge has been here since the morning show, and he made the donation, so yeah. Sweet, sweet. Nice one, matey. Sorry, mate, it just... 
there's been that many names, and I'm just getting to that stage. <laughs> Guys, saying, look, I'm you've got to appreciate, <laughs> yeah, we've been doing this since like half nine this morning. Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, and I think. Oh, yeah, Bleentron's still. Yeah, he's still not dead. He's here. <laughs> but cheers, guys. I appreciate the support. Honestly, it's it's great. It is actually. You know, I've got, I've got to say, it's been an absolute blast. You know, and I'll be honest with you, it's you guys that are keeping me going with John's help. You know, the comments, the fact that you're still watching. You know, the fact that I can't slope off and pretend I've finished it, <laughs> <laughs> which I will not do. Not happening. Not on my watch. This either gets done or I collapse doing it. Although saying that, I've just had like a massive heat wave. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get that now. If you've not had the rain with the thunderstorms, then yeah, the temperature's going to go. Wee. <laughs> yeah, I needed the rain. We had a little bit, but it's just gone. And it cleared the air just for a second. It was like. <sighs> but... Wait, did you just make brews? Oh, okay. That's fine. Did you just okay. ask your missus for a brew? I did. Was she making in, one? In a roundabout way, I said, baby, did you just make brews? And she's like, no, I just boiled the kettle to feed Neville. I was like, okay. So, yeah, but I'll make one in a minute. See, she's lovely, really. You think it's a brew. ring carry? Wake her up, ask her for a brew. <laughs> um, Mel wants you to ring his other half, who is in bed, asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, just let's just add that on there, uh, and and see if you can uh, persuade her to make him a brew. Guys, I can promise you now that if that was to happen, this build wouldn't get completed. <laughs> End of. Cause I'd be dead. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's a good shout. Uh, Andy2d6 is here. Uh, he's saying, um, how much must we donate for you to wear full winter gear? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you how much you donate. You donate £181, yeah? Because I won't complete, but I'll hit fucking target with a donation like that. <laughs> I won't complete this build, I can tell you now. If I was in full winter gear, yeah, I'd last about five minutes if that. I mean, for God's sake, I've only got the bottoms of a onesie on, yeah, and I am roasting. It's pretty warm. It's been warm all day, mate. Yeah. It has been a shocker. But we've done it. I'm even thinking about getting an ice cream. Oh, that's a good point. I might get a jubbly. A yeah, jubbly. Yeah, dude, dude, if you want to go grab a jubbly and cool yourself down, I've got the crew. And uh, if you guys don't know what a jubbly is, I will show you. I don't know if they, they get them over in the... No, stuff. I don't. So, we'll see. Anyway, back in a second. Oh, yeah, so basically a jubbly is a frozen bull's penis dipped in, in, in sugary syrup. You'll be watching him now just sucking on it really hard to cool down. <laughs> it's the After Dark show. It's just getting mad now, guys. How many hours in are we? Uh, I don't even know. We're, we're at least 16, 16 hours and 20 minutes or something. What's a long working day, eh? What would any, what do you guys class as a long working day? I know I can't see your answers, but by the time, what you call it, John's back, we'll be able to sort of work that out as whether would this would class as a long working day or whether some of you guys are pulling longer shifts. I mean, 16 hours is it's a pretty long shift in the UK. Do, 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 do. No, sorry guys, I don't didn't mean to do that. It's hard to get out of the habit. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm still doing these rock faces, guys. This is the last bit, and I'm just getting the rock detail on these final pieces. Yeah, once that's done, what we'll do is we'll start actually integrating the... <coughs> pardon me. Integrating the actual builds into the rocks. Well, that's the plan anyway. 
we still got the option of collapsing face down into the desk. What's the plan? I missed that. We're just talking about what's next stage integrating the plastic builds into these buildings. But I was just saying, yeah, what would you consider a long day, mate? What? For? Working in the UK, a long day. 10 hours, 12 hours. Yeah, we're already pissed that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'd pissed that before we started this session, let, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah that's true. So, um, do, do you guys over uh, over in the States get Joblies? Joblies are lovely. Yeah, man. Do you like sucking on them, mate? I do like sucking on a Jubbly. Yeah, getting all the juice out, yeah? Definitely. Uh, it especially keeps me cool. Yeah. It's a British thing. You know what we're like with our pig pudding. <laughs> John likes sucking on his jubblies. Uh, especially this one. It's like a slightly pink colour. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Look. What's the lag on the Jubbly. comments like? Jubbly. <laughs> um, they haven't caught up yet. But, okay, we've got Rob, Rob Harper saying, I can't believe you guys are still at it. Good job. We're still at it. We're British. Yeah. We um, say we're going to fucking do something. We fucking do it. Or we drop trying. <laughs> um, we have uh, Drote saying, yeah, I'd say 16 is a heck of a shift. But, yeah. mate, we passed that at least an hour ago, so... Yeah. We're pissing all over it, mate. <laughs> um, Tribal Wars says, uh, how long has it been since you worked 16 hours straight, Mel? It's been a long time. Uh, I've done long says, days, but 16 hours terrain building is a long day. Yeah, not just terrain that, building is a physical as well. thing. Like, like, not just the terrain building, but like entertaining a, an audience. Yeah, engaging the brain. Yeah, is good. Uh, a jubbly is basically like, um, it's basically an ice lolly. So it's like flavoured. Look, see this? This is a jubbly. This is a It's an ice lolly, isn't it? Yeah, look, you squeeze it and it comes out. And you suck on it. It's, <laughs> that's it. See, no great mystery, guys. I'm sure I've blunted my rocks on this polystyrene. I really do think I've done it. And we have many jubblies in the freezer. <laughs> I am envious of your jubbly collection. That I don't is. think we've got any because the kids keep having them. Oh, mate, it's so good. I tell you what, right I now... I like mean, Cornetto's in with the chips. Because <laughs> they go like rock... They, you know, they're just gone. Uh, some, cre some, some jubblies are filled with uh, cream... <laughs> um, with a, a slightly meaty texture. Mm -hmm. um, I remember watching a program. It was like on um, something to do with like mums who uh, who like still breastfeed at like a really like their kids are like eight, ten, twelve years old and they're still breastfeeding. Yeah, and right, it was like, right. ugh, what what is this? Like just one of those random programs that you find yourself watching. Yeah, a bit like our, our broadcast now. <laughs> yeah, just like you sort of, if you sat down and think, why am I actually watching this? You'd probably like maybe change over, but I'm listen, just, don't put that thought in there. We've listen, only don't just think got that at years. all. You're watching this, <laughs> and you think it's cracking, guys, and you're supporting a good cause. <laughs> there was someone <laughs> saying it was a bit like milk mixed with corned beef, and I was just like, oh, that sounds fucking wrong. <laughs> like what the taste of corned beef. The taste of uh, a, uh, a a lady's breast. Oh, it's basically like corned beef and milk. It's like, oh, that, that does not sound appealing at all. I'm sorry, I don't care. Like, the the whole fact that it was about basically kids who are still at school breastfeeding is is just wrong. You know, like Game of Thrones style with um, what's her name in up in the airy. Oh yeah, she's still breastfeeding. Yeah, she? basically it was like. People who actually do that shit, but in real life, is like, oh my god. <laughs> There's nothing weirder than some parents. Oh. Especially around here. <laughs> I'm waiting for the, oh, that's gross type comments to come through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll filter through, because I, I think we're all fundamentally agreed that's gross. <laughs> um, oh, right, quick brew. 
Nah. But yeah, apparently the uh, the Americans don't get jubblies. Sorry, guys. Uh, if it's any consolation, it's really fucking nice at this time of night. I know it is, and I don't have any. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Drolteer says, I don't know what that is, but Mel, you, sir, are cruel. What, you don't know what a, um, a job... I don't know. Don't know, don't worry. Move on. Okay. Um... Then say yeah, show us the jobbies, and still both got a good voice after 16 hours of talking and building. Uh, yep, that's quite impressive, actually. They're right on that. I'm surprised we have. I mean, I've been singing. <laughs> yeah, and not quietly. Especially with it being so hot as well, it's like you'd think that it would have gone a long time ago. Should I think mine's probably going to go tomorrow, though. I think it's just meant to be, mate. Mhm. Mm um. Uh, there was no, you squeeze a jubbly and cream comes out. I said, the thing slides out when you squeeze a jubbly. Look, you squeeze the jubbly and the ice comes out. That's it. Not cream, just the jubbly. Get your lips um, on that jubbly, matey. Enjoy uh, that fruity goodness. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. I'm like, I'm cooling right down. Uh, Mike Epting says... I've only been a subscriber for a couple of weeks, and I have no idea what the fuck you guys are up to, but it looks like a blast. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we're building a massive... Well, I'm building a massive terrain set for Help Heroes, and Mike's... Uh, and John's keeping me... Get See, we're losing names now. The brain's starting to get confused, mate. But basically, yeah, John's keeping me company, and he's, he, he's handling all the comments and all that sort of stuff, and the idea is... I ain't stopping until this terrain is built. Because it's got to be built or I am behind schedule and that is not acceptable. So we will soldier on. I am starting to get the feeling that I will see daylight before I go to bed, before this is finished. Mate, you start seeing daylight at 4 o'clock these days, honestly. That's very true. That's very true, matey. <laughs> That's great. The actress had a prosthetic on for the breastfeeding scene as the director didn't think her real breast was large enough to represent someone who was lactating. <laughs> so the only woman not to get a tits out on Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How is it disturbing, man? It's a strawberry jubbly. Were you just being crude? Is there something right, like... I don't know what the people like are down in Portsmouth, honestly. I tell you what, you, you, you go out for like five minutes, you, you threaten to go to bed at two in the morning, you think eating an ice lolly is disturbing. I, I don't know, man. It's, yeah, I mean, no idea, mate, no idea whatsoever. I, I'm just getting a bad image from, from, from Portsmouth. <laughs> I, I'm going to watch, I'm going to get myself a strawberry split and run my tongue right out of the mill on it in the minute for the creamy goodness. <laughs> I'm going to part those pink bits apart, apart and just stick my tongue right in there and go crazy. Are you still fully on yourself? Yeah, I am still fully on myself, mate. Don't worry. That's fine. Um, just have said, yeah, we can't see John anymore. Uh, it's nice to be missed, but, you know, it's Here fine. Here you are. <laughs> I'm only chipping in occasionally now. It is our John. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. There you go. <laughs> uh, Mike saying this is Mike Epting he's saying I recently got the Mordenheim bug again so train has been on my radar big time last few weeks uh, good to watch you working makes me feel lazier mate get your ass in gear sort it out oh shit that stinks and I can't even blame the dog <laughs> that's that curry going through mate bad times Yeah, nah, man. But, uh, I think like terrain is is just one of those things that makes a game like that, especially in like um, in games like Mordenheim or say yeah. Gorka Morka or um, Necromunda. Like the terrain and the scenery and and what you're you're playing on makes a game more than a game of 40k, I'd say, because you know 40k is about big armies clashing and and all that sort of stuff. Whereas yeah, terrain um, just gets in the way with 40k. Yeah. Whereas if you've got like small skirmishy type armies it's more about 
like getting the upper hand and, and being really clever with the use of terrain and I don't know man, it's I think it really, really adds something, so good work on you man. Even if you, you haven't really done much with the terrain, just to to actually be kind of focusing on it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, too right. I mean more than I those sort of games were made for cool terrain. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why they include funky terrain in the box that you can climb in and move around. It's that functional stuff that I love. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, mate. We don't get flavor ice over here, but probably. It's basically just like, um, I don't know, like a, a squash or something like that, frozen. Just, yeah, yeah freezer pop. Frozen, isn't it? That's all. It's it's nothing special, and it's in a funky shaped like pyramids kind of uh, carton container, whatever. Come on, die! <laughs> you Brits and your curry. Whereabouts are you based, uh, Mike? Do we do we get to add another name to our list of countries? <laughs> Do you know what? We'll probably hit the stats, yeah, and we'll see all the countries it's been accessed from, and it's been accessed from all over the world, and everyone's mm -hmm. just been saying the states. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Right, joke time from Rusted. What's the difference between a light bulb and a pregnant woman? Go on. You can unscrew a light bulb. Way boom boom. Uh, the Why only, did like, the Essex girl take a Rottweiler to the party? Oh, yeah. Hostess said, "Bring your own liquor." That's. I don't care what time of morning that is. That's terrible. <laughs> What's the difference between an Essex girl and a mountain gorilla? A couple of White pints. stilettos. <laughs> How do you know when an Essex girl has had an orgasm? She drops her chips. Fuck's sake. What do you say to an Essex girl that can suck a golf ball through a hose pipe? Marry me. Well, why so does an Essex girl, yeah, buy a knickers from CNA? So she knows what which way to put them on. <laughs> yeah, you have to think about that one for a second, but yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Little bit thinky, thinky. <laughs> um. Oh wow, people are actually trying to be serious in the chat. What's this all about? It's serious in the after yeah. dark section. I know. Uh, no, Mike's... No, 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 you're sitting there eating a jubbly. <laughs> I'm like naked from the chest up. Um, a seriousness went out the window a long yeah. time ago. Okay, let, let's try and deal with this. Right, we've got Mike saying I think the terrain and the <clears throat> the after action aspects of uh, Mordheim makes a game. I have bits of skeletal structures and a pretty decent tower made from old coffee can foam and card. Make all my old terrain used to just be balsa wood and card. That was yeah, it. Yeah. Made terrain out of whatever you got. As long as it gets on the table and you get playing with it, like, that's all it's there for. I remember you used to get tips, like how to make terrain in like the White Dwarf um, and stuff like that. And one of them was like, you get, you know those like Brillo scouring green, like... Yeah, fold them over for hedges. Fold them over for hedges, yeah. <laughs> like on a little, just put them on some balsa wood and just, that's it, you got a hedge. It was like, all right, okay. See, that's what I miss. Because they sell everything now, they won't give you tutorials on how to make funky stuff. I miss that. Mm. Okay. Uh, lollipop idea, I have some in the freezer, we'll take it out, mate. If you're hot and like, this, this shit has cooled me right down. Um, Bleen's saying you can't really go more insane with terrain density than Necromunda. Due to the yeah, due to the multi-level nature of it, man, it was it was mental. If you had like 
because they did a, a an add-on set. It was like a Imperial factory set or something like that, industrial facility or some shit. I don't know, but it was basically like Necromunda scenery in a box you could buy on top of all the Necromunda scenery you'd get in the game box itself. And like we had, we had that. Plus we had two boxes of this factory stuff. So and it was just me and my pal playing. So we'd have this massive sprawling complex of Necromunda stuff, and it was just the two of us playing on like with our little gangs. So it was like, yeah, so much stuff, but it was great. We could use that factory set for 40k though, because it wasn't just Necromunda; it was a 40k card set, like the Bastion and the um, Firebase. Um, okay, so yeah, that um, tribe was saying, yeah, that's why I love the Necromunda. Uh, he says he's based in the US. Oh, that's, that's boring, we've got so many from the US already. Can we have somewhere new, please? Um, haven't tried Mordheim though. Um, I, I have to say, I've not played Mordheim. I have played Necromunda, I have played Gorkamorka, and as far as I know, Mordheim is basically just somewhere in between the two of those, but for fantasy, pretty much that's that's Mordheim as I know it. So correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free, but yeah. No, I do like Necromunda. I do like Mordheim for the trade and the games. The good games. Skirmish games. It's, it's great. Um, I'm going to swap cameras, by the way, because I'm going to crack on working with this. Go for your life, matey. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to get an ice lolly. <laughs> I'm feeling the need much like you. <laughs> you felt inspired. Um, <laughs> what do you call a cheap circumcision? A rip-off. Oh! That's, that's nasty, man. That's nasty. Um, no, it's too. It's not late enough for those jokes. See, uh, uh, the only jokes I ever can re like remember is like religious oriented ones, and I don't think I should go into that. <laughs> no, no, we're not going religion. We're not do doing politics. Um, Sexist is perfectly fine. <sighs> I don't think I can lose my channel for sexist stuff. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, I haven't tried more time. Yep. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, what do you guys think of Across the Dead Earth skirmish game? Never Mate, played. I've it. never heard of that. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Yeah. Short <laughs> answer for you there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Ice Wolf saying, still working on my Mordheim village. Have like 15 buildings. Uh, still needs painting. Um, I don't know, man. I think with the old terrain stuff, like you, with you, just be able to make like, yeah, basically you make like a frame, and then you just put some card in the inside of it, so it looks like an old school type yeah, building, yeah. and that's you year away. Honestly, it's like some of the most straightforward building you could get. I think, mind you, I used to use um, super glue to connect the balsa wood, and that just like that never really worked. No, no. Hot glue is probably the only way you can go with that stuff, I think. Or maybe PVA, but I don't know. I'd suggest PVA because it's wood glue. Yeah, that's true, actually. You know, but you just got that drying time, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, the, I, even in these, you know, as I squeeze down, I can still see PVA coming out of it. That was hours and hours ago. Yeah, exactly. But like I say, it's 24 hours to get this sort of fully done. Um, but that's what the hot glue was for. Beaver liquor store, uh, liquor in front, poker in the rear. Lol. Uh, <laughs> um, Mike Sen saying, yeah, bolster and cereal box card is the shit. I also liberate, in quotes, lots of coffee stars from Starbucks and stuff. Maybe, yeah, McDonald's for us. Yeah. Um, White Dwarf Man, it's a shame how lame that magazine has come over the last seven to ten years. Yeah, man, you used to get like loads of stuff, like even free terrain. You'd get punch card terrain and stuff in White Dwarf, and 
Are you probably going back to the same time when, you know, you used to get, like, free rules, and what I mean by free yeah. rules was whole fucking codexes in White Dwarf. You'd get cards and stuff as well, wouldn't you? Like, yeah, 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 you'd get everything. I mean, I'm that old. I remember when GW used to have sales. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, so, where are we now? Uh, at Tribal Wars, yeah, Mordheim is like a load of fun, a light RPG and quite a bit of stuff, like fan-made on the net. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, yeah. Chris is saying, lol, I'm making floorboard bases with McDonald's stirrers right now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. mate, that, that's great. Like lollipop sticks and stuff. If you're if you're stuck and you you don't have a, a handy um, restaurant to pill for them from, then you can pick up like fifty cocktail, uh, fifty um, lollipop sticks or some that are bigger than lollipop sticks for like fifty p from like pound shops or Wilco or places like that. Like all of them sell them. And barbecue skewers are also pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um. They're all good supplies. Uh, Mike saying politics and religion. No, no. Tits and a penis. Golden. Yeah. Yeah. Too uh, right. He then says a razor saw, mitre, and uh, stir sticks can work wonders. Mate, you can do some amazing stuff with the most basic materials. Like, it's. Uh, I, I agree with you there. I, you know, you see a lot of people using all these fancy tools and materials, and it's like, go back to basics. You know, you can carve whatever you want out of foam. Your wood is just, it's stirrers, you know, your cardboard's coming from cereal packets. Just freaking build stuff. Well, that's what I think, anyway. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I, I genuinely agree. There's not enough to it. I think, because what you call it, I think it's one of those things that because it's so out of people's comfort zones and there's not mm -hmm. many people around, you know, in your hobby groups. You know, you go to your hobby group and there's plenty of people who give you advice on playing a game. There's plenty of people who give you advice on how to paint your models. When it comes to making terrain, you know, it's those guys that, you know, they're not there. So a lot of people are like, well, I've got no advice on it. I've got no one to spur me on or to cheer me on. And you sort of leave it behind, and you shouldn't, because it's freaking terrain, great fun. Terrain makes a game. I'm sorry, I, I, and anyone that says otherwise, I, I don't really agree with them. Anyone like, who says otherwise plays with plastic armies. Um, like, if you've got a good terrain board, it can really make a, like, a good game better. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and memorable. And if you've got something really, really nice to play on, it's it's just adds to the um, to, whole experience. To, yeah, it adds to the immersion in the game. It's uh... oh wow, well, I mean, Mark, come on! Mark How many there. of us wouldn't like to own a forge wheel table? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mike Tukey, uh, Mark Tukey, my bad, is, uh, it says, I remember GW having sales. I also remember White Dwarf having discount vouchers. Yeah, I remember those, the red ones and the blue ones, and buy this one and you got another set free. Those were the days. They were the days, my friend. Oh, are you talking about like the the laser cut MDF terrain that you can get these days? That's uh, there's a lot of nice stuff out there. There is, I, I agree. But again, I think it's a lot of it is very um, pricey. For what it is, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, there's also a lot of smaller manufacturers that are knocking it out quite reasonable as well. So don't okay. discount a whole range just because you know a couple of the sort of Forefront runners are a bit pricey. No, that's fair. But no, it's something I'm going to have a, a lot more look at after I've done the since I've done these what you call it these uh, micro arts builds because they've got like MDF elements in them and actually I'm looking at it it looks quite nice. They've just got that Wolfsung table, haven't they? They're doing all that steampunk terrain. Um, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. They, Sorry. My car <laughs> studios, they've just brought out a massive range of steampunk stuff to go with their late this steampunk game they've 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 sort of brought out, and it does look really nice, but it only really works with that game, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I get that. Do you, would it not work with like Malifaux, maybe? I imagine it would. So you know, I don't That's know enough. Like steampunk. Does that game. make sense? Yeah. Sort of comment with any real authority on it. But I just know that the table, you know, looks great, but I can't see Space Marines on it or anything like that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I get that, totally. Here comes the rain again. I can hear it coming. I hope it cools down again. I can't be the storm passed over. No, mate, not that soon. I'm telling you, you won't. He won't have had it yet. He's waiting for me. Have this storm, isn't he? There you go. I told you there was storm coming. Hey, the fuck! <laughs> I wasn't lying. <laughs> he wasn't fucking lying. There's a storm coming. I've had a bit of a storm. I'm just waiting for the clear air. We've had an update. We've had an update. Let's have a quick swatch at this. Oh, uh, 20 bucks from Anonymous. Nicely, nicely. Is there any comment about a song or anything like that? No, no. No bra. No comment about a bra, no comment about a song. I don't Thank know. Thank God for that. I don't think I could do it in this heat. But, you know, if anyone wants to test that theory and push me to the edge... You know how to make a donation, guys. But look at me. Seriously. I think another song would kill me. <laughs> please, please, don't donate that money. <laughs> In bits, that's fine. Just not all at once. <laughs> Finally getting this rock pan. I think I've still got to do a bit under here. But once that's done, just press the surface down and all four of them are textured, then I'll just have to have a quick look at them together to make sure the textures do actually work. Because there's nothing worse than getting everything painted and everything up and you go, actually, that's a bit shit. Everyone's getting chatty with it now. Oh, good, good. Um, lots of people talking about like coupons and stuff. Um, my typing ability is out of the door after a day of coding. Yeah, I know how that is, man. Um, MDF terrain is getting pretty good. It's a good way to. <laughs> it's a good way to get started in bigger building. That uh, building yeah, bigger great, things. Great. Um, Andy two D six said, "Idea for your next marathon build: an enormous dwarf fortress cut into a mountainside." See, I think that's more a job for Ted. Yeah, yeah, I think Ted should do that live. <laughs> live. Because <laughs> we know um, Ted can't do shit. <laughs> Poor Ted. Um. <laughs> so it's uh, Drell Tyre saying pre-made stuff lacks the heart that handmade terrain has. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I've always had this sort of policy when it comes to come on, open you bitch. Why won't you open? Oh, oh that's why. Okay. Right, I should I should read this before I carry on. Okay, uh, Judge Shred saying Forge World tables look amazing, but they look almost unplayable. I do prefer the made from scratch terrain. Yeah, I I do like the the terrain you make yourself. Um, certainly, it has a lot more feel to it. It's um, it's a lot more personal. I yeah, guess. Yeah, you're right. Um, 
Blintron says, currently I'm customizing a few different bits of MDF stuff because they make quite a solid framework for improving on. And not just painting, there's tons of room for detail adding and customizing. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, like, you know, you could use that as a framework just because it's pre-cut a certain way is, um, yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, Penguin's back. Um, okay. We have uh, okay the charity update from Rusted Beetle. Can I assume it's not you that's made that donation, Rusted? Because you made the big one earlier on, or is that you just keeping a, an eye on that there? Um, thanks, Rusted. It might not be him because it was anonymous, but well, I mean, thanks for just keeping an eye on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I don't want to <laughs> give him credit if it's someone else, but yeah, that's fine. Um, Mike Epting saying I used to play Mordheim with a good crew when I lived in Seattle. A guy made a portable set of cardboard stuff. Didn't look all that great, but he would add posters and graffitis, little things add a lot. Yep, epic level. Um, <laughs> um, Isol says I can remember to buy parts to weigh pounds in cheap prices. If you were promoter of the game in Europa, bought some kilo back in the day. Um, Remember to buy parts to weight pounds and real cheap prices if you are a promoter of the game in Europe. Oh, okay, yeah. So you used to get a discount if you were promoting their stuff, I guess. Ah, cool. Uh, then Judge Dredd saying, come on, let's get to 900. Mate, we're not that far away. Um, and potentially we're here for at least another, what would you reckon, hour, at least. hour two, three, maybe? Yeah. Um, Illusions, or Chris is saying that uh, he loves the micro art stuff, the Discworld stuff is awesome, and yes, I was thinking of getting some of the scenery for Malifaux, so I'm guessing that's relating to that steam. Yeah, that stuff. Wolfung stuff, so it does yep. work with Malifaux then. Um, Mike says, I thought I saw some lightning earlier. What, on the... In, in the window, in Mal's windows? Yeah, there has been some lightning, and we've just Definitely had some has. as well. Um... <laughs> Rusted says, uh, "Now nah, the donation wasn't here, but I'm tapped. Otherwise, Mel would be double cupped right now." <laughs> um, okay, let's get back up to where we were. Bean says, "Actually, there's a thought. One of the things I've been doing to get stay in practice with terrain stuff is fixing up club terrain. That stuff gets battered from use, or it's left plain so often." Yeah, Bean, yeah, that's true. That's a good way to get into it, I think. And um, if there was clubs around here that were after terrain, then I'd certainly look to to do that myself. Because that would do. Yeah, you know, you, you get in there. Come on, terrain builders, mate. Yep. I tell you, absolutely um, love them. If you can build terrain, a club will snap you up. Um. Yeah, so you're saying so it's good practice without needing the effort to uh, of a whole build of stuff while yeah, it's really right. falling apart. And mate, it doesn't really matter how shit it is because it's probably still going to be better than whatever they're using that's falling apart. So yeah, you know, you're right. It's you, a win-win, you know, guys. Yeah, you know you can't really go wrong with that. Um, Rusted says one of the reasons I bought into Dystopian Wars is because making the terrain would be cheap. Uh, you'll have to remind me why that is. Dystopian is that the old? No, Dystopian Wars is the what's called the naval game, isn't it? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, Penguins back saying the next big build is a one-to-one -one scale Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Fuck off with your Fraggle away. Rock. <laughs> I'm sorry, another day. Um, Ice Wolf saying, is there a PayPal account? I don't have a credit card. I don't know about the donation side of it, Mel. Uh, I no, I think you can watch. I think you can donate via PayPal on Just Giving. If not, mate, do me a favour. Just drop me a line tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll figure something out, mate. Uh, you know, if you want to donate, punt the cash over to me, and I'll make a oh, donation okay. on my card. Judge is, say judge is saying, yeah, PayPal is accepted. Um, Great. I thought it was. Uh, so, yep, that's us caught up. Oh no, hang on. Um, Ice Wolf says, how do you select PayPal? I can only choose MasterCard. Um, I don't know, mate. Uh, sorry, <laughs> mate, I, I don't even know. I can't tell you right now. Maybe someone who's gone through the process who's in the chat can. 
Yep. If not, if you're still struggling and tomorrow, mate, just drop me a PM and what I'll do is I'll have a look at it and see if I can figure it out for you, matey. Um, my captain's saying I prefer handmade at 28 mil, but a pre-made terrain at 15 mil. Uh, yeah, yeah but it's difficult to make 15 mil terrain look nice, so I can understand why you'd want to go pre-made because you know you can get the details nice and crisp with pre-made, whereas trying to make it from scratch, especially buildings. Yeah, I get that. No, that's that's fair. Um, I mean, the hills and stuff they are a piece of piss. You know, it's just the buildings because of the detail level level of them. Yep, you just have to go to that smaller scale, don't you? That harder, I guess. Um, Mike saying reclub terrain and damage. Sometimes it's helpful to try and use materials that are darker in color, so as paint chips, except. Um, yeah, yeah. Sort of like using a black undercoat on minis. Yeah, I guess like. So, no, you know, it it's no different than me using my black foam board. So when it gets chipped, you know. It doesn't show up white. You know, and there's certain situations where you know your terrain is going to get damaged, so you build it with that intention. You know, you build it sturdy, you, you make sure you keep away from the like the loose little bits that could fall off. Everything's well stuck down, because you know, the people who are going to be packing it away ain't going to give a damn about it. All they want to do is pack away after the game. And I'm not sort of slagging people off, but you know what it's like. You bang the terrain away after you've had your game because you need to get out of the club. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, some poor buggers spent hours making that. And when it gets to the hands of the clubs, it's very rarely looked after properly. Unless the terrain maker is part of the club, then every fucker looks after the terrain properly because he's mm -hmm. normally walking around going, don't you fucking break that. Yeah, do you know how many hours I spent on that? <laughs> yeah. Almost done this. Away, I'm going to have a nice lolly and cigarette. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, dude. Yeah, I man, can see the beginning of the end. That's, How's that's that? good. That's good. We'll get there. We'll do it. Or we'll drop fucking trying. Do you know what? I don't know if Mantic have been watching this broadcast at any point. God knows what they think of me by the end of this. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, well, that's uh, the last time we send him anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He makes awesome frigging terrain, but we don't really want him associated with our company. Yeah, right. Bit of a gob shape. <laughs> the thing is, what they don't appreciate, this is the squaddy way. Yeah. You know, piss taking, making a fool out of yourselves. Because, what you call it? It's about the objective. Not about how you get there. It's mm -hmm. about fucking getting there. And if I have to dance with a bra on my head to hit my target, then mm -hmm. that's what I will do. Not because I have no self-respect, but because I have the ultimate self-respect and dedication to my past in hand. Do you reckon I sold that, mate? I believed you. Good. Well, yeah, I reckon we're getting there. Oh, wow. It's just, like, gone boom. <laughs> really hot? No. Well, yeah. The, the temperature's certainly gone up, but it's... Uh... Your comments. I've just had a spam of about seven comments. Um, okay, let's have a look. Oh, and the rest. So I just can't count now. Um, Rust is saying you don't need to make an account. Just make sure you check the box on the last page to share your details. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can use just get, uh, you can use PayPal. It should be there next to card. Uh, I've done it via PayPal and just giving at Penguin. Watch out for some one-to-one -one dozers. I think that's the little guys that write things or they didn't yeah, yeah. build it. Um, I was saying, yeah, no problem. I can send you a package with some great mold resin for Dystopian Wars and Warhammer Fantasy, or I can donate ten euro. Um, donate ten euro, please, mate. <laughs> uh, Mike's saying, JR Miniatures make some decent or cheap plaster stuff at 50 mil, as does Old Glory. Uh, yeah, black foam board is good. I find latex house paint is reasonably tough as well. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Drought here says, got to step away for now. Try pop it back in again before too long. Best of luck. Thanks, buddy. See you soon. And Mike says, forgot to say the old glory stuff is resin. I got a couple of buildings for their 15 millimeter and new W Europe, Northwest Europe range, and they are way yeah. nicer than what the picks would leave one to believe. Um, uh, <laughs> hang on, right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I still say Mantic watching, logging in just now. <laughs> <laughs> what look they have Mel without a shirt? <laughs> um, Penguin I think they can forgive me because, with no offence, if they're logging on right now, they're in Britain right now and they're in this heat. Yeah, man. The only difference is they they're haven't not been going yet. for seventeen hours. Nice, and and they're not mashing a rock into foam. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, you've got. Penguin saying there's something messy about a bloke half dressed in a SpongeBob onesie rubbing a rock against some foam. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. Look, uh, this, this is one of those situations where I'll probably wake up in the morning going, "What the hell did you do last night?" <laughs> but um, it's what I'm gonna do to get myself through, and I'm gonna get myself. Is that not what you're expecting the missus to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm expecting the missus to come down in the morning and go, what the hell are you still doing up? Yeah, right. <laughs> in fact, no, I'm not going to see Kez till dinner time because we haven't got kids. I'm not saying she's lazy, but, you know, as any parent does, you get kid free, you take the opportunity to do the things that you can't do with kids. Sleep. Um, dude, I might need to disappear in, like, ten minutes. For good or oh, just... Oh, no, no. Joe's just going for a bath, so, you know. Oh, yeah, no worries. What are you going to do? Obligatory, obligatory perv. <laughs> She's just You're saying, what? Snapchat. <laughs> She's <there> going, what? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Sorry, back to the comments. Uh, okay, Bleentron, 6mm is worse than 15mm for burdens because you've got... Things like Timecast out there as the pre-made standard. That stuff's insanely good, but very costly. Uh, Chris is going through how to donate with PayPal. Um, yeah, okay, that's it. That's back up to speed. Can well, you just make some silicon moulds of, like, I don't know, Monopoly houses for 6 mil? Um, I don't see why not, actually. I'm reckoning this. That seems know, like a really good suggestion. Some of the modern sets have got some, you know, pretty interesting buildings in. Hotels Ooh. or houses, though. I don't know. I don't need know. to be thinking about it in detail. <laughs> right, I need. Right, where's my cigarette gone? Let me just grab a cigarette before you shoot off, dude. I'm only, I'm only fucking about. I'll, I'll leave her to have a bath in peace. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely fine. No, go have a perf, dude. If you've got an opportunity, do it. Oh, I, I will. Like, I have plenty of opportunity later on. It's fine. Oh, yeah, you guys are night owls, aren't you? Yeah. If I didn't have to get up early, then, yeah. Do you have to get up early? No. No, I mean like earlier today. <laughs> like that, that ten o'clock start for me is like what? Yo, what? Um, and just in case you guys are going, you're a lazy bastard. Um, partially true, but I uh, I do a lot of work with Joe. Uh, we run a rescue for hedgehogs. Um, so them being nocturnal, you kind of end up work into a slightly later time scale. Thank you, baby. Um, so, you, you know, you find yourself up till the small hours, feeding them at appropriate times and whatnot. So, yeah, you kind of just sync your sleeping pattern to what they are accustomed to a little bit more. Um, yeah. Really out. Whereas with kids... <laughs> you train them to leave life. you the fuck alone. <laughs> No, I don't know. It's raining heavy here now, so I'm hoping 
going to cool down a little bit more. But first, I need a nice lolly. Good shout. Well, I've just been supplied with a coffee, so... Oh, you lucky man. I am definitely here for the long run. Good, I good, sir, because so am I. I have just hot glued my finger. <laughs> Again. You, you can tell I've done it a few times because that's just like a calm matter of fact. So, yeah, I've just moted Yeah, you finger. just get used to it. Yeah, <laughs> job done. I just oh okay. I don't need to refresh. Uh, right. Let's have a look. We've got my captain saying, "Got to go hand, uh, and go and hang with my two kiddos. Uh, try and pop back later." Uh, Chris said, "Just made a small donation, not a huge amount, but what I have spare." Um, Thank you, Chris. Every penny helps. That's absolutely right. Uh, we are up to 83870. 83870. Nice. Nice 838. So, I mean, we're only 162 off target. Um, that's it crazy. That's, that's good, man. That's good. Uh, okay, we've got... <laughs> okay, we've got Icewolf saying if you play next weekend when recovered from Crazy Build, um, you play with me on World of Tanks and games. I'll donate tomorrow. I'll contact you. So that's Icewolf. So uh, after, after some games on tanks, uh, Andy Two D Six says I'm also shirtless, but the site is far too sexy for broadcast. Um, I'll, I'll reserve comment on that because <laughs> I don't think you're sporting the the Spongebob onesie, so, you know. Um, Russ is saying thanks, Solution, yep. Uh, Penguin is saying, what type of plaster would you recommend for home casting that isn't resin uh, based, I don't like the idea of resin as I like my lungs, but I want to cast a few minor terrain bits. Rare, in which case, I'd go for Christocal or something like that. That's pretty tough. It's going to save your lungs. Uh, my lovely children have ate all my ice lollies, so I'm just going to go top up my cup, guys, and then I'll be oh, back dude. and we'll crack on with the terrain. Oh. Uh, that's harsh. <laughs> um, buy Monopoly City, it's like 20 bucks, or 20 quid, uh, and comes with a... Different, a uh, bunch of different buildings, uh, used for a diorama. Yeah, that's not a bad shout, I think. But there's lots of little deals and bargains and stuff like that out there. I think just it takes someone to kind of have that creative notion to go, oh, I could use this for this, and someone else to go, oh, that's a really good idea. I'm just going to copy that, and before you know it, everyone's fucking doing it. But no, that is that's a really good idea, and uh, you can definitely come back and be like, "Well, Astray, uh, Stray Penguin had that idea first on Mel's channel." Oh, just waiting for the kettle boil now. We're still getting lightning here, still raining. Mate, we've not had the next bout yet, but I think it's uh, on its way. That or it's fucking noisy bitch in the corner here who's like rattling a bowl off the edge of the tub is uh, just distracting from it. I'm surprised you can't hear it. Oh, she's a pain in the ass. this one. Like, she just wants to be out and she's not ready to go out yet. But she's like, <laughs> you know, in like movies and stuff in the prisons, they like rattle their food bowls and stuff in the, the bars. It just reminds me of that. She just literally, she's got a in water bowl in her mouth and she's battering it against the tub. She is a cow. Uh, she's female. So do they line up? They do. I'm good at this, I am. Let's have a look at the front of them just very quickly. Make sure they're, they're of similar style. 
They're a similar style, aren't they? Um, two seconds here. I'm just trying not to glue my finger. Yeah, I'm happy with them. Right, let's have a look at the other pieces. Okay, let's put the slap bang on top to be truthful. So there's a door piece there. It's going to go slap bang on top. Right, that has not been pushed down completely. Has it? Can't tell. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, we don't appear to have any more on the comment front as of yet, but that's not to say there's more <laughs> on their way. They'll come through, mate. We know they'll come through. Alright, and then this one. That goes there. Sits into there, and yet the style still matches. A little bit slightly off with the rocks, but... Is that it primed, the grey? Yeah, yeah, they're primed now. So they're ready to go in. So basically, I'll... I'll basically get my coffee made, yeah, I'll have a little bit of my fag, and then the next job will be actually fixing these in, filling these gaps, getting this surface prepped for the watch clip for when we give it a coat of filler. And when we give it a coat of filler, yeah, what I mean by a coat of filler is we're going to brush it on with a wet brush. Spackle. Okay? Yeah, and basically, yeah, spackle for the American people, but basically that will give us a nice thing sort of coat that will give us a very, really rocky texture and at the same time seal all the polystyrene so I'll be able to use my spray paint on it. Right, let me grab my brew. Oh, right. Sorry guys, I just had to throw that spackle in there because I know you guys are like, filler? What is, what is filler? <laughs> what is this? foreign concept. Oh, right, got my brew, got my fag. Oh, bloody hay fever. Oh, hay fever as well. Man, you're like shit out of luck at the minute. <laughs> you ain't stopping me, brother. You ain't friggin' stopping me. Look at this for a wall of terrain. I can friggin' hide behind this. Yeah, that's like actual real life terrain, isn't it? You yeah, that is. I, can fi I think I should update my avatar. The new version. <laughs> no, because that's scary as fuck. <laughs> 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 right, basically, guys, yeah, looking at it, I'm happy with the look of the rocks and the general texture. I think it's 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 turned out all right. I'm happy with it. You could the thing is, you can carry on and on and on and never stop with this sort of stuff. Yeah, so you do have to draw a line and say, yeah, that's the stage I want to get it at, and that's the stage it's at, and that's where I've got to at this point. I'm happy with the way it's looking, so it's time to watch for it, get this thing funked up a bit. So let's put these down there. Oh, yeah, that one as well. We're probably going to start off with that one. That's probably the easiest to do, to be perfectly honest. All right, this whole process is just going to be a process of. Basically, big gaps will get filled with offcuts of polystyrene. Yeah, and then we'll use filler to fill the sort of the remaining gaps. So around here, we can get away with filler, just you know, getting it in with a finger. We can cut that back actually. Don't tell the wife I used the shop. Don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. Or or that it's recorded on you know YouTube. All. Yeah, no, no. She, look, Kez has had to sit through hours of this. She ain't going to friggin' watch it as well. That I can be sure of. Alright, so the first task is we need to fix our plastic bits in. Yeah, so hot glue for that, I think. And we'll just pick our places for our hot glue. 
So a little bit there, a little bit there, because we'll be able to disguise it with some rocks and stuff underneath it. Perhaps a little bit there, a little bit there. We don't need to put much on to seal this off. Yeah, then if we come around the back, we can just go into these gaps here. I mean, we're still going to style the back, but the back's going to be a lot easier, because I think with the back, I'm just going to go for a very simple thumbprint sort of texturing. Yeah, i.e. we'll get really late on, I'll have to finish the back and we'll have a massive sort of spaz episode on it. <laughs> That's a technical term. That is a technical term. If anyone remembers where... Ah, oh, there's my glue gun. Come on over here, glue gun. You are needed. On the plus side, I get to wait till this warms up now, so I get a little bit of a break. Oh. I think uh, a few too many breaks here, Bose. It's not a matter of a break, it's just a matter of utilising the time I've got while things warm up and that sort of stuff. you got you got a fag on the go? I've always got a fag on the go. <laughs> that's why I let them go out, because I only get one drag of the damn thing before I'm cracking on again. I should slow down and actually take a break. <laughs> Finish it, yeah. Did someone just say you st slow down and finish it? Um, I hope not. That's fighting talk. Right, hang on, here we go. Uh, Mike Epting saying, uh, crap, i got to go, why are you two such fun? Sorry guys, this has only just popped up. Um, I know it was like five minutes ago, but... Hey, that's, that, that's what uh, we're dealing with. See, I'm supposed to be on my fag now and I'm still bloody working on it. You can't help the uh, Thanks, thanks, Mike, for the donation. Thank you, Carly, sir. Oh. Um. Okay, we've. Excuse me. We've got a uh, dental plaster as a possibility. Yeah, dental plaster is a damn good one. Yeah, it's what they make the dental casts out of. You know, when they cast your teeth to make yeah, imprints yeah. and all that sort of stuff. It's that stuff, but it is actually really good. Okay. It's a rock solid, quick drying, no shrinking casting powder. Um, okay, uh, Penguin saying I want it to piss down here. Yeah, man. Yeah. We'd so fucking do it. Uh, Ice was saying, yeah, dental plaster, but there are good safe resins out there. I used them for years. Uh, yeah, Penguin there are, saying, you know. Don't be scared of resins. Uh, Penguin saying, I'm so tempted to start up my screen recorder and put train spotting music over this stream. Mel, <laughs> the train spotting tutor, okay. <laughs> uh, Ice Wolf saying, yeah, wow, looking nice. Great two together. So I'm guessing that was when you were putting the, the train together. Yeah, oh, yeah. that looks epic. Um, Penguin saying, apparently use this Cryostyl? Cryostyl? Christocal? Um, I don't know. Maybe. The thing is, if, the, if he's across the pond, they have a whole different set uh, he's, for it. He's um, Midlands one. Oh, I don't uh, know what he's using then. Then they use Christocal as calcium in tofu. I fucking hope not. Uh, um, Witchcraft 467 on World of Tanks, Xbox 360. Maybe I'll never leave. Um, I think you play tanks on your... I do when I've got okay. time. So, you know, if you want to game a world of tanks, it's dead easy to find me. I'm the terrain tutor on there. Uh, okay, we've got Rusty Beetle saying this looks like great terrain for a game based on June. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd agree yeah, with that. When you were saying to me like you were making it as a like a mining planet, I instantly thought of Total Recall. Yeah, yeah. That was that was like, oh wow, that's gonna look amazing. And I not the newer one, but the older though, one. I mean, we're, we're, let's be honest, guys. We're all we're all singing from the same hymn sheet here. We know what we like, and that's mining facilities on alien planets. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think the only problem with the Twitch stuff, though, you can't have multiple people on the same thing, can you? I don't know. I think 
it's it's going to ha- Twitch is going to have to be good to replace what we we're doing now because I've got to say, considering we've been ham- hammering it for like, you know, coming up to eighteen hours now, you know, it's stood up to it. Yeah, it's it's doing well. Um. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Also, the chat issues when you've got this sorted, consider Twitch. Well, the other thing to consider as well is that Twitch has just been bought, and someone brought this up earlier. Twitch has been brought out by YouTube, so I wonder how much of the functionality of that platform they're going to be able to bring on to this kind of thing. Yeah. That's, um, that's what Microsoft, That's what Google does, doesn't it? It buys yeah. an entire system just so it can have a bit of functionality from it. It goes, oh, I like that, and Yoink will buy everything, and yeah. and they're the best again. <laughs> You know, they're like, oh, we'll choose Hangouts over, we'll, ha- we'll choose Twitch over Hangouts because it's got a better chat function. Oh, we'll just buy Twitch because we want their chat function, you know, or whatever it is. That's yeah. kind of what they do. It is um, kind of what they do. And I can understand why they do it, because it works. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they've got the money too. But they've got to spend it on something, haven't they? Yep. Um... Okay, uh, Icewood says, I found out if I put ice water in my airbrush and spray it on face, it's real nice and cool. <laughs> you know what? If I could get away with running my compressor now, I'd just blow. In fact, yeah, ice water. Why yep. I just blow air through it? That'd work. Um, Mel, did you cut the stairs in half for the raised room? I may have missed that earlier. Yeah, yeah, we did cut the stairs in half for that one so we could get that in. Um. Okay, uh, Ice Wolf saying, I play World of Tanks on PC over a year now and having three countries on the world map with a small clan. Well, what you call it? I play on the PC as well. You know my username, the train tutor. If you fancy chatting to me, mate, just chat to me. <laughs> uh, cheers, Rusted. Um, he's just saying, well done on keeping the voice throughout all this. Mate, yeah. I can talk shit for days, honestly. You when, can, I you stop, <laughs> when I stop talking, my voice box will go, Fuck man, you've been chatting for ages. You should have a rest, and I won't be able to talk for a few days. But yeah, um, <laughs> I appreciate the the heads up. So thank you. We're doing well, dude. We're doing well. <sighs> that one's done. So that one's in. Yeah. So we'll let the hot glue dry, and then we can watch clip. We can start to. Work our magic and fill the gaps. These are a bit quite excessive gaps, to be truthful. But I think this was the first one we cut out. But that is not a problem. Nothing is a problem. I believe I can achieve. <laughs> For <fuck's> sake. <laughs> did Did you tell people where you got that from? No, no. It's the it's, it's the watch call. It's the motto for my lad's school. <laughs> I just like it that much. Uh-huh. Right, this is a bit thin, so what I need to do is I need to raise this up a little bit. So I think the best way of doing that is probably cocktail skewers. Um, just trust me on this one. <laughs> I mean, I'm crack on. I'm not questioning that. I'm kind of trying to find a bit. Shit. I've resorted to clipping, clipping this um, this sheet stuff. Right, got you, yeah. Just because it's a pain in the fucking hole. Um. I need three rods. I should do it. Okay. Uh. Basically, what I'm doing is this is just a little. This is just a little bit sort of sagging at this side, and it just needs raising up by about a couple of millimeters to sort of sit true. Yeah. Now, obviously, I've got this stand which we cut, but that's just shy by just a tiny little bit. So what I'm going to do is dead simple. I'm just going to put this under there where I need it. And then I'm just going to put these cocktail sticks underneath because then I'm going to be shoving this with glue and filler. That's it. You go in there. You go in there. Come on, in you go. 
That's it. Fix it against there. Brilliant. And that one goes in there. And then all I need to do is just wiggle this a little bit. Wiggle it. Just uh, that popped into my head as well. As oh no, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> I like that new Snoop Dogg song. Um, I don't what do I do with a big fat book? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Nope, not heard it. And, uh, it's epic, mate. I love it. I can say it's, it's probably a good thing for my sanity that I have not. Have you heard it, mate? You posh git, your sanity. <laughs> what? Sanity means nothing here, mate. <laughs> no posh git, fuck's sake. I'm from Scotland, man. You don't get posh Scottish people. <laughs> Cough. Have you just managed to offend like most of Scotland there? No, it's like legit. The only posh people in Scotland are the people who've actually gone there with money, not people from there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit like Wales. <laughs> like honestly, that's that's how it is. It's like Scottish money is like a non-existent thing. Right, hot glue at the front. Right, where's this touching down? It's touching down there. All right, I need more hot glue. I need another stick. Oh, it's raining in London. There we go. That's the yeah, big storm we're coming. I mean, we'll be getting it soon. Um, Penguin, you and me, mate, we'll be getting it soon. And then both will be getting it. Yeah, yeah. And I am are... down to my last glue stick. Let's get a series, guys. Yep, we're up. Oh. oh, okay, so these uh, donations are actually coming through now. We are just shy, just shy, by um, of 8.50. So what are we on? 8.4870. Eight four eight seventy. That's fucking amazing. Seventy. That really is fucking amazing, guys. Have we had any bra or singing requests, or are we just are they just quite happy to? Just quite happy, it seems. There's quite a few donate. anonymous as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. I really do appreciate that, guys. Remember, if you want in on the raffle, yeah, you need to share contact details. Yeah, but other than that, thank you. 848. That's friggin' brilliant. Mate, you're getting very close to that 150 mark now. That's... We are, aren't we? We're ticking there. We're ticking. Every, every, every donation just makes that target seem just that little bit more achievable for me. So, you know, genuinely, yeah, really tough, guys. It also puts the pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just quickly pull that off there. Come on, get off your git. And then all we've got to do is the big one now. They'll be glued down, and then it's time to get the filler out. And do the front of these. Yeah, that's level. That's looking good at the back. We're cooking on gas, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I've been uh, working what to do with this door. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, any suggestions, it. guys, for for the door? You see, the problem is, yeah, the door was a, a concept before what you call it, we sort of got building and sort of making this cave it was going to go into a separate area but it hasn't worked out like that so we're sort of playing around with because it looks a bit silly having a door there when it's completely open there so we're just playing around with little ideas we can use to sort of create a separation yeah but I don't know what it is yet we will figure it but right now let's be honest we've got bigger fish to fry We've got to get the big module beastie in. Oh. Right. Oh. 
a stretch, big module. And then we're on to the filler and polystyrene. Right, big uh, good work, guys. We are so so close now. Um, so that's yeah. like that's eight, uh, nearly eight hundred and fifty pounds, which means you've got what one hundred and fifty one pound thirty to go, and you've <coughs> still got like a fair whack of time as well. Yeah, yeah. So honestly, good work, guys. Yeah, really appreciate it, guys. You know I appreciate it. You know, but just throwing it out there again, really brilliant work, guys. Thanks for all your help with this, helping raising the money, helping keeping me going, uh -huh. along with what you put my good mate John, who's keeping my san sanity barely in check. <laughs> um, okay, we've got a few people here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. They teach um, the, the the American, not the Americans. I think it was the Australians taught a dog to drive first. Um, a dog. A dog to drive. Uh, there was a dog that actually passed its driving test or something ridiculous. Um, I think it was like an automatic, obviously. But yeah, um, apparently there's like the SPCA has taught three dogs how to drive now. Um, here in Arizona, they blow misted water out of buildings to help folks cool off. Yeah, we, I've seen that. That's like really, really nice. Um, we did What's that, that over mist? here. Yeah, basically cooling mists. Like you kind of walk through arches and stuff, and it just yeah, really yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. That'd be really nice right now. Um, Chris is off to bed. Thanks for a very entertaining day, and this is truly a heroic effort from you both. Take care. Hope it doesn't take much longer. Yeah, it will. It will. <laughs> Um, but thank you, Chris. Thanks for all your help, your donations, sticking around, dude. Cheers, dude. Have a, good, have a good night's sleep. We'll see you when you get up. Uh, Mark says it's raining in London. Penguin says it's London. They've probably bought the Hoover out to steal the clouds for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike's saying, okay, I'm now leaving, but I thought I'd mention I love Scotland. Went there about 25 years ago. Edinburgh, and D, Brecon, Forfire, etc. I love it. Uh, try and chat later. Cool. Cool, yeah. And uh, Blintron saying a disabled access ramp. Does, yeah, <laughs> that could work. Yeah. That could work quite well, mate. Right, we need to do the cocktail stick trick again. Well, the, the barbecue skewer trick. Just to raise that back up a bit. Um, we've then got... <laughs> I don't think so, Judge. <laughs> but if it carries on, yeah, there may be. Ow! Um, Shot myself in my groin. Sack. <laughs> yeah. There's a hole in my pyjamas and the bar shot straight through. And it was nice. the pointy end. <laughs> That's karma for earlier on. Yeah, um, it is. Judge is saying, is there another show after the After Dark show? Um, so... I don't even know if I'm going to be awake. Because, I mean, theoretically, this show doesn't finish till 10 o'clock. That's the 24-hour mark, isn't it? That's the 24-hour mark, and I, I do think, yeah, if it ain't built by then, whether I've dropped or not, yeah. <laughs> I think Maybe that's I'm still cool. here, so, you know, if, if it needs to be, then I'm here, but um, I hope it doesn't take that long. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I, you know, I'm enjoying it, guys, but, you know, I want to see this finished as well. I don't want to be here all night. Like I have been. With John, of course. Let's not belittle his presence. Hey, I'm just a comments guy. I don't even have a name. You do. Your name is John. <laughs> the comments guy. <laughs> the comments guy. God. Right, so quickly put those under there just to raise that floor up again. Uh, this this hog is getting on my nerves. Um, let me just stick this down, and then I'm going to go and sort this fucker out. Are you talking about one of your birds? No, it's this fucking... It's this hedgehog that thinks it's in prison. <laughs> it's like rattling its tub against the fucking... Uh, it's rattling its water bowl against the tub. We've changed it from like a ceramic bowl to a plastic bowl because it was making that much noise. And it's still going. Oh, and it still does it. But you can't not it, give it, it a tub for its fucking... Hog, it? 
Yeah, man. You, you can't not give it a tub for water, though, because it's like... It, it won't We've got to give you right. water, bastard, but if you keep banging it, you'll go without. Yeah, basically, you, you kind of... You give it... Give it her, give her some water, and then she starts wrecking, uh, like wrecking the place, and then you're just like, you know what, it's not worth it. Screw <laughs> you, you. You've emptied your water out, you clearly don't need it. Yeah, there you go. We'll take the bowl out. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, uh, I will say, build a deck with an iron railing. Yeah, um, yeah, we could do that. We do have spare bits. Uh, I don't know if we've got any iron railings left, though. Uh, then have uh, Bleentron saying perhaps some sort of locker. Um, yep. Yeah, Rusty Beat was saying make a rock divider that extends the wall out to divide the back into two distinct rooms. You see, access. that's what the original idea was, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it says cut an access tunnel to the top idea. and add a ladder into a small. Hey, that's not a bad shout, you know. What's that? You could create like a little box room and have a ladder coming out to the surface. Oh, I could. Yeah, but I don't have the panels for the box room. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Okay, we've got more. We have more. So, use uh, the leftover foam. <laughs> um, use some of the leftover foam for stairs to the door, then you can make them worn if you like. Yep. Yeah, That's yeah. A good job. I think what we'll do is, as the filler dries on this, we'll have a look through the bits box. Because that's where the shit will be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Andy's saying there's an epic thunderstorm in Manchester at the minute. That's past you, isn't it? Yeah, that's gone past me then. Uh, maybe that was the one you had earlier on. Oh, well, it wasn't that epic, I don't think. Mm, it's, it's Manchester. Well, they, they, they tend to Manchester. exaggerate things, don't they? <laughs> Um, Everything's epic to a Mancunian. Penguins donated. We are oh, thank now. You. We're now at eight five eight ninety nine. Eight five eight ninety nine. Sweet. Uh, We're on the downward slope now. Rusted, Rusted is on the ball with this. He's like proper on it like a hawk. Um, I saw saying, yeah, my name's written in the sky, clouds, yep. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Doody. <laughs> uh, Russ is saying, another mm. joke. I brought shoes from a drug dealer. Don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day. But I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Metal just lost his drink. <laughs> no, he's not got it. It's fine. It's Siggy, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> cool. Oh. Hello. I know, matey, I know. Oh, you know how I was saying Joe's really fucking amazing? Yeah. She's just Go had a bath. Come, she's just had a bath, come downstairs, and she's like, you want some cheesecake? I was like, fucking yeah, I'll have some cheesecake. <laughs> she's great, she that is. it. <laughs> An absolute jammy git. My wife's just gone to bed. See you in the morning. Yeah, you got a fucking bacon butty this morning, though. You know, that's... I didn't get a breakfast. I had to do that myself. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's... <laughs> You're putting that out there, are you, brother? That, that's like the other end of the scale. You, you get a, a bacon butty at breakfast... I get cheesecake for supper. Yeah, that's fair. We both had a curry dinner. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we can live with that, mate. Um, I'm down with that. that. It's still frigging ridiculously hot here. Yeah, for sure. Alright. Okay, what we're doing now is basically I'm cutting off off cuts of bits just to wedge in where I'm going to put filler over them. Yeah, because basically if I try and fill it with fillet, it, it'll take forever to dry. So I need what? I need like a triangular piece in there. It helps if you switch it on, Muppet. Big. Oh. Thank you, baby. Mel's jealous. But then I pointed out that he got a bacon roll this morning with fried egg. And I was like, I had cornflakes. I had to get them myself. 
because you'd stayed up all night and you'd only just gone to bed when I got up because you were feeling lazy. Yeah, and that's what I just said. I love You're not you. digging a hole for yourself there, mate, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's fine. She is getting tired, though, so I can't push it too much more. Well, she's a good woman. You can't complain at that. No, I know. She's great. Like, honestly, I can't fault her at all. No, I, I rip it out of her sometimes, but no, she's... Well, no, no. No, I'm with you, mate. My Kez is just the same. Well, I wouldn't be without her. I don't think I could survive without her, to be truthful. <laughs> no, man. It's... Right, I have plugged this in, haven't I? No. That helps. John is getting on. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Right, that will work now. So yeah, basically what we're going to be doing next is filling any large gaps. Yeah, with polystyrene, and then when we come along, we'll be able to put you know bits of filler in there and sort of blend it away a lot easier than if we didn't have sort of like polystyrene taking up most of the room. Now little gaps up here like this. They can be done with just filler. Phil will take that care of that no problem at all. Whereas the bigger sort of gaps, you know, they're going to need a little bit more polystyrene poking in than the filler put on top of those. There we go. I'll keep that hot because no doubt we will require other things cutting. Right, so two little pieces and I can sort of start wedging them in here and doing funky stuff like that. So I've got the, the what you call it, the plastic glue getting in the way there. So cut a bit out of there, a bit of plastic glue there, so cut a bit out of there. Yeah, same there. Remember, this is all going underneath filler and that sort of stuff, so you can be a little bit more, I'm not going to say robust, but you know, it doesn't have to be as clean. I bent my stick. You bent your stick. Man, yeah, that can never be a good thing. It's working late, mate. I'm putting pressure on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I was going to break into a story there, but no. It's, it's, no, uh, yes, you are. It's it's not, no, no, it's... um. Yeah, it's it's not something to share for for the the wide audience. Is it not? All. It's really not. No, <laughs> it's you like, break the stick, did you? No, no. Um, just ripped certain strings. Should we say? Oh, dude. <laughs> um, Spit yeah. next time. So, uh, uh, that's that's all I'm saying on that matter. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving that one there, guys. We feel your pain, every man in here oh, is feeling it's... your pain right now. That's that's not a bad fit. <laughs> there's sharing and then there's just a little bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what have we got? Okay, Andy saying. Um, Andy says, "Got a great joke for you. What is Speedy Gonzalez's favourite kind of flooring?" Go on then. Underlay, underlay. Oh, that's bloody awful. Yeah. It, it, it suits us about now, actually. <laughs> it's just getting to that time and I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> uh. A dog walks. Uh, Rusted says a uh, dog walks into a pub and takes a seat. He says to the barman, "Can I have a pint of lager and a packet of crisps, please?" The barman says, "Wow, you sh that's amazing. You should join the circus." And the dog replies, "Why do they need electricians?" 
<laughs> okay, my sense of humor has gone really downhill. If that's funny. <laughs> uh, Penguin says, guys, you don't need to tell jokes. Mel has a hot wire cutter, and it's 4 a.m. It oh, is yeah, nearly 4 a.m. Yep. Um, this is going to be bloody hilarious without the bad jokes. <laughs> this man knows me well. Uh, this is again very true. Glue on there, throw that one into there, just let that settle. I'll still have to fill some gaps down there. What well, forgot that I could fill those with? What slivers? See, I told you we'd use all this stuff. That we was will. Uh, part of what you were saying earlier on, yeah? Yeah, exactly. We use all of it. Break it, any little scraps off, wedge your things in. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty because it's going over with filler. See, all it has to do is work, <coughs> fill those gaps, keep everything nice and tight together, and that way, you know, when we do whack the filler on it, everything will be nice and firm. Yeah, nothing sliding around anywhere silly. Can I fit that one? Yeah, I could probably fit that one down there if I squeeze. In fact, no, it's probably better there, to be truthful. This cheesecake's been sat in front of me for like five minutes. <laughs> like, oh, Why are you not eating it, dude? Time. I'm just going to carry on making it to rain. <laughs> dude, eat the frigging cheesecake. If I can't, you should. Oh, it is good. Is it? Mhm. Mm it's just vanilla cheesecake, but it's it's good. Describe it to me. It's it's cold, soothing, and creamy. Oh, oh yeah, I know what you mean now. As in, like you've been speaking all day, soothing. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, there's a bet going on at the moment. There's a what? A bet. A bet? Judge on what? On how quickly I burn myself? <laughs> he says, I bet five bucks if Mel cuts that piece correct the first time, who'll match that bet? <laughs> Cut what piece correct? Whatever bit you were just cutting. Oh, I don't know if it's correct or not. I'm just winging it now. It's just getting shoved in. <laughs> I want to get filler on it. Mm. My phone's still going off. You might have got another donation through. Ah, uh, no, I'm not looking. Not looking. I like the little updates, to be truthful. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's like, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, I've got to keep going. Okay, so. so that one's in. Do we need to put any round there? Well, we do need to. Well, it's just that bit there, isn't it? We need to wedge that up. I thought that was sitting back further, but obviously not. Okay. Uh, wedging that up. How are we going to wedge that freaking thing up? Like that. Just like that. We're going to stick that in there like that. That's awful. That's bloody awful. We'll keep going. There's only so much polystyrene that can fit under here after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one can go there because filler can go on top of that. Then all I need to do is just fill in these gaps here and that side is looking good. Yes, in 
you go. In you go. That's it. Nice. And then I can just bring some fill around there. To fill that in. Bring this up. I could probably do with just a little bit of a raised ramp there or something. So see if we can just sweep that bit off there. I'm just going to take my plate out, mate. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, go for your life duty. That's actually worked out quite well. Yeah, so this will probably need a bit of PVA on it to be truthful. Because it ain't just going to sit. Whoa, that was a flash. Wonder how long till the thunder. Well, I saw the flash, but I haven't heard the thunder, so it's probably bloody miles away then. Oh. As long as it doesn't stop me doing this, I'm good. Well, we need the same sort of setup over there. All we need to do is just fill a little bit of a gap, just a little one. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll use a bit off there to be truthful. Where do you reckon? That corner? Yeah. Right back here. Can we go it that way? Yeah, that's not bad. Just need to trim in there a bit. I'm back. Ah, uh, he's back. Hey, duty. Um. Okay. What have we got here? Uh. Ice is saying I burned my hot wire phone cutter when uh when too long on when it was on too long. Ah, uh, yeah, the camera's gone. Uh, recipe says, do you have any of the Mantic rubble pieces left? Oh, yeah, I've got tons. I haven't used them on this build. Maybe that would help fit in the sides? No, they wouldn't really work that well, to be perfectly honest. The rubble piece, I'm not much for the Mantic rubble pieces, to be perfectly honest. I'm not much for their fortified ruin bits to be truthful. The basic set is bloody brilliant. The landing pad is brilliant. The ruins and the fortified bits just need more thought. Now, that's probably not how to get a job working for man tip, but it's the truth. Right, so that side's done. Yeah, so as you can see, I've basically just put a wedge of polystyrene down on that. Yeah, and what we're going to do is just give that 5-10 minutes for the PVA to start to stick down, and then we'll be able to start plastering filler over it and start, you know, getting these gaps filled. I'm just wondering whether that might be an idea to grab something like this up here and just slide that in there. Just fill in the top gap a bit. Yeah, yeah, just, just so the filler has something to sort of stick against. Mm. You know, you don't have to go crazy, but, you know, little bits do help. Well, it's less space for the filler to fill, therefore it would be less dry in time. Exactly, less time, mate. less exactly. uh, less chance it's going to crack and stuff like that. Yeah, not just that. I mean, it also means that I don't have to watch put one layer of filler in, let that dry, then build it up. It just means I can just literally just fill this. I think that's probably a bit too high, so flatten it down a bit. Yeah, that's better. So just push that under. Yeah, and then we need another little slip over there, so let's use that bit. Is that going to go under it? No, it's going to need pushing down again. Unless we go that way, it might. No. Squish that down. Yeah, push that in there. And this is all I'm doing. I'm just little tiny bits and just filling this top gap up by pushing it in. If I can. Come on, you get don't do this to me now, I've turned this bit to the camera. <laughs> you do I. Um have you turned the volume again? Have I? 
I may have. No, my volume's still turned down pretty low. Why are we getting an echo? Yeah. Try turning me down a little bit lower. Try turning you down a little bit. Or oh, the volume. Like the speaker volume? Yeah, yeah. I can't turn it down much more, otherwise we're not gonna hear anyone. No, that's cool. How's that? Um, I don't No, they're not gonna be able to hear me now. Well, no. maybe a little bit, but Right. Much more and they're not gonna hear at all. Is the echo that bad? Uh, I don't know. Someone was saying it was back with a vengeance, so maybe. Well, we'll have to see the feedback after that little mess around. Right, so they're in there. Right, I can put this over. Oh, yeah, that's got some weight in it now. Yeah, I'll have to do the same at the back, but we can do that later. Right, put that one down there. Next build. That needs gaps filling, which will be this one. Oh, the rain's back again, thank God. <laughs> Joe's watching this. Um, this is like the highlight of her evening, by the way. She's watching like a real time like lightning strike thing. Right, okay. Like, and it's literally like an app on the phone, and it, it's like... It, it's giving a flash every time there's a lightning strike. Zap, 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 zap. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And uh, it's, uh, it's all coming this way. You guys are getting off very Divine you guys, do you mean me? Yeah, on the west side. I just want the rain, dude. You probably get that. I hope so, because it's still bloody roasting here. Um, let me try muting this. Maybe it's just like gone hypersensitive or something. Like, does this auto adjust? I'll tell you what I have done. I have actually moved my camera, haven't I, back in front of my monitor. <laughs> Don't bloody touch that while you're hot. Piss me off. It won't work. So if I do that, sorry about this, guys. Just while I reposition, that might sort the echo. Are we still loud? I don't know. Well, I can kind of hear myself. So maybe. I don't know if that's worked then. Does the camera need to be in front or behind? I can never bloody remember. You'd think, you know, with all the technology we've got, it'd be able to recognise a bit of feedback and sort it out. I mean, if Google can tell what songs I'm frigging singing, then my computer should be able to sort out a bit of feedback. You, you can still hear me or not, really? I can barely hear you, dude. Right, OK. No, I'm just fanning around with this. Is that better? I think the next option after this is I'll have to go to headphones. Uh, God. Yeah. I think it's maybe because I was away, like the gain on my microphone's possibly just defaulted up to. Right, got you. So have we got it squared, yeah? Uh, let me see if I can find you about with it a little bit. Frick, that's a big hole. Uh, no, I've stopped talking. I'm concentrating. <laughs> we both are. Is that any better? Oh, shit. That's better. Any better now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? It is you. Don't say that. 
I, I just have visions of him bobbing up to a young girl in a bed going, do you know what it is yet? Keep rubbing. Oh, both. That's morally wrong on so many different levels. I'll try to talk a bit softer as well. Like, maybe that'll help. Yeah, talk softly to me, matey. Talk softly to me. <laughs> it's that time of night. It is. You've reached the witching hour with Mel and John. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and carry on. Watch it melt down. <laughs> I'll need that for later. That's a good bit. That could be useful. But it's not perfect for what I need in there. Let's rip some of this off. Ah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I'll wedge a bit up there. I'm cooking on gas here. I was expecting that to sit back, but it should be truthful, but it doesn't look like it's happening like that. Hey ho. Not a problem. Did uh, did Mike disappear? He must have. He didn't say goodbye. Well, I mean, I don't see the comments, so... I didn't see him say goodbye. He could just be bobbing off to the toilet, mate. Or restarting his computer. He's not said anything for ages. He could have fallen asleep. This is true. Has he you know, if he'd been out here for like, you know... I can't hear myself now. You can't hear yourself. Yeah, like I could, like when they said there was an echo, I couldn't hear. But like, no, I could hear myself like through the headphones, so like coming through your stuff. Right. But I can't hear myself now, so I would assume that that means the echo. No, we should have had it sorted then. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they come back with, mate. I mean, we still got thirteen with us. Yep. For the late night shift. And it is the late night shift, guys, you know what I mean. The final slog. I'm not ready to drop yet, though, that's the thing. Nah, same, man. Um, and now it's time for Terrain Pillow Talk with John and Mel. Call in now mm. with your personal requests. Yeah. Was that we've done personal requests already. I think we've gone past the singing point. I don't think my voice could genuinely sing. Wait, I told you the target for tonight was 1,200. I was singing at 1,200. We could get a millionaire coming at the last minute and just screw you over, you know. If we do, they, they deserve to hear my voice. Yeah, yeah, very true, mate. And if I, I heard it's very angelic. If I sound rubbish, it's because I've been talking all day. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> if I sound rubbish, it's because I am rubbish at singing. I'm not going to lie to you like this John bloke. Try and pretend I can sing. No, no, I can't sing. You know I can't sing. You've heard me bloody sing, guys. This bloody John guy, though, really? <laughs> How rude. Oh, it's raining at least. Itself, apparently. It's fixed itself. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, they basically mean is stop pissing about with your settings, boys. You've got no idea what you're doing. Honestly, I think it just auto-adjusted. It must have done to try and pick up talking yeah. and then just get back and it's like... <laughs> really fucking loud. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I'll adjust. I'll adjust. I'll adjust. He's back and he's loud. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. A little bit in there. That's something. Probably that. Yeah, pretty close. Cut that off there. That's going to look bloody stupid. I told you before, the thing I like about walky terrain, you can make it rough as fuck, but it's still good. You can always rely on orky terrain, mate. So it doesn't matter how rough the edge is or how dodgy it might look. It's still It'll still look like orky terrain. It's still orky. Actually, trying to make it look like Orky Train is actually quite a challenge at times. It can be, yeah. Because you've got to sort of like, you build like your standard builds, and then you've got to sort of like destroy them almost. Oh, okay. Rob's back. Hey, welcome Rob, back, Rob. Rob. I think Rob's been back for a little bit. Maybe. Coolio. That'll do. Uh, Crack it, that'll do. Okay. Um... That's a fair question, actually. Uh, let's see if that is... Okay, someone said Mike didn't make it... Uh, they don't think Mike made it to this session of the feed. Um, okay. The uh, Mel, the piece you're working on now, how do the figures get in or out of the bunker? Is there a door? Uh, this particular piece, yeah, will have an air vent put on the top. But remember, these have been designed to put yeah, with a door module. Yeah, so both of the bunkers will sit next to a door module. Otherwise, they're going to sit on the corner. Your only way in is going to be through the roof. I hope that's satisfactory. If it isn't, tough. If you don't like it, go I'm shit I'm not changing it now, guys. <laughs> go shit a hedgehog. That's what I can say. Go shit an hedgehog. <laughs> Head first or tail first? It's got to be tail first, has not it? Mate, it won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it really won't matter. I'm giggling like a little school girl here. Bearing in mind, you, you get hedgehogs that weigh like nearly two kilos. So, That's a big dump. That's a big spiky dump, that is. They're, they're like the size of a pineapple kind of thing. <laughs> We're back to Hitler again, aren't we? Oh, little that's, Mickey. That spikier idiot, so, you know. That would have been a better scene. <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking take a hedgehog, yeah, but then that's like animal cruelty. Yeah, it is. You can't do that to animals. You can't. No. It's not fair that just because you're spiky, you get shoved up Hitler's arsehole. Mm -hmm. Over and over again. Um, For the rest of eternity. I mean, my God, what did you do in life to get that job in hell? Mm. I spend every day in hell in Hitler's arsehole. Where do you want to capitalize? If I take it out, take it that way. Bollocks, I'm going to use a blade. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, Penguin saying, also, Mel, you balls this up. You should be marathoning Tales from the Crypt. It makes any modeling project better. Tales from the Crypt. Guys, I'll be honest with you, yeah, I don't mean to sound like, you know, defeatist or anything like that, but I am bollocks. My brain is barely functioning. 
Yeah, I'm trying to recall stories, you know, and I'm scared I'm going to lose like vital, like you know, life support systems in my head as they try and recall a story. Let's dig out a story. Well, we'll switch the heart off for a minute because we need the energy for the brain. <laughs> Memory recall required. Non-vital functions. Yeah, that heartbeat that can stop for a bit. That's fine. Yeah, you know, it's just not good, guys. It's just not good. All right. Um. <laughs> uh, honestly, people are starting to ask like serious questions now. <laughs> Fuck you guys, honestly. Um, you've got, guys, you've left it till now for the shoot. <laughs> um, you bunch of twats. Okay, so we're saying that the the rain is not cooled down at all here. Nah, man, not unless you're getting the thunder as well. If it's just the rain, it's going to be muggy, it's... sticky, and nasty. Um, Rob McCord saying, Samo, when you started this project, did you set out with a specific plan, or did you decide on a set number of terrain elements? And it is looking awesome. But yeah, he's saying, so did you start off with a specific plan, or did you decide on a... Uh, to be truthful, yeah, it was very much a play with the mantic pieces to see what I could come up with. You know, the modules have actually been through quite a few changes so far. But, I mean, the key pieces were the mantic pieces. And as they sort of, like, you know, as they sort of, like, got allocated into builds and into buildings, you know, I sort of moved around, right, okay, where's the next one going to go, sort of thing. Does that make any sense? It was a very organic process, should I say. Would that be an agile project development method? I don't know, mate. I just know that it was like very much a, right, we'll put this here. You know, I didn't start off with a specific plan. I started off with a specific theme that I wanted to replicate. Um, Black Tower Terrain says, I'm getting a lot done, guys. This is fun. Can we do it again next Friday? No. <laughs> I don't think our wives could take another session this soon. Nah. I think I spent all my wife brownie points on this session. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I mean, I've given up on a promise tonight for this. Uh, Rusty Beetle says, Mel, you've mentioned you're planning on a Mars-like colour scheme for these pieces. Any specific plans or thoughts on colour patterns? Red. <laughs> <laughs> That's as basic as it gets right now. That's as much thought as I've put into colours. Red. It's going to be red, okay? Beyond red, and the building's white, I have no friggin' idea right now. Uh, okay, ice, I think, is off. Um... Oh, well, thanks for sticking with us, Duty. <laughs> what are you laughing at now? <laughs> Penguin. Um, he said, uh, Mel, on a scale of um, 10 to Jimmy Savile, how much of a fuck-up do you feel for starting this project now? <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't. Oh, that's bad. You know, I, I set out with a project. I mean, I know I've got behind with it, but I think if anything, tonight's show has shown, like, you know, the dedication that, you know, even if these don't get built, we are fucking God knows how many hours in. Too many. Yeah, but we're doing what it takes to get the job done. So I don't feel like a fuck up at all. I don't feel like I failed. You know, I feel like I'm just balls in it to the wall for as much as I can, for as long as I can. Right? to get this done because I want to raise that money honestly though there's not really that much left is there no no there isn't actually in the build sort of stuff it is actually we're slowly getting there I mean after this I've just got to plaster it with fillet I do think more than likely the interiors are going to have to wait not because I could stay up and do them but I think they're going to require some careful carving and thinking to get that I like the idea of that separation wall do you know what I mean yeah that sounded quite good yeah, but that's not something I want to do 
at stupid o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah that's something I want to sit down better. and give some thought to. So I can see me doing all the outsides tonight, which is easily achievable, even if it will take a little while, but we can do that. But I think the insides, these internal bits, they need a fresh pair of eyes, guys. They really do. Because one thing I don't want to do is screw this build up for the sake of just, you know, I built it in one night. Hurrah! That's like when someone says, I painted my entire army in one night. You look at it and go, yeah, you should have taken some more time over that, though, mate. <laughs> yeah. Pro-painted. Pro-painted. Epic level. E eBay pro-painted is, is a term that we've uh, started to come up with. Where, you, you know, you, you see all these adverts on eBay. I don't know if uh, you guys watching are familiar with this term as well. But you'll see, like, models for sale. And it'll be like, pro-painted. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. I'll have a little look at this. And it's basically like been painted with two colours and a wash. Yeah. Mate, I, I bought a Chimera off eBay once. Yeah. And you know the picture looked mm, okay, but the model turned up and it was absolutely horrendous. And it was described as pro painted. So I contacted the guy and said, "Look, mate, this is not pro painted." And he came back with, "My seven-year-old autistic son did that. How dare you say that?" I'm like, with no offence to anyone with autism, yet yeah? a seven-year-old autistic son is not a pro painter, yeah. not based on what he fucking delivered. You should, yeah, you can't just turn around and use like, uh, I don't know, is that classified guilt as trip. disability? But yeah, it's basically, oh well, you shouldn't be so heartless. I'd I just like, thought did the, I just sort of contacted you. Still getting negative feedback. <laughs> and then what? I just contacted eBay and said. Guys, look, he's admitted his six-year-old painted this. Did you get your money back? I did. Did you keep the model? I did. <laughs> did you feel bad? No, because no. Look, I said, do you want me to send the model back? He told me to fuck off. <laughs> so I thought, all right then. That's a fixer-upper. Job, job a good in. Mate, that's that's too generous for pro painted. It literally, I tell you, it literally means because anything better than I think it's two colours, a wash. So Who's freaking two decided colours, that anyway? Because that's tabletop standard. Two colours and a wash is tabletop. So anything above that is pro painted. I, you see, I disagree with that. I think that's a load of bollocks. No, this well, this is eBay terminology. I'm not saying this is actual standard to. You know what I mean? By, Where the hell yeah. did they come up with those guides from? Fuck knows, nice, man. Because it's got no, no sort of bearing in the real world. Right, put that one down there. We're onto those now. Oh shit! Uh, Penguin's got a good point, though. Actually, uh, he says, "Don't add extra ideas now. You're already struggling. Don't go chasing ideas and end up wasting time on detail that no one will notice." I know what he's saying. But it is yeah. a bit of a bugbear. But I'll look at it with fresh eyes over the weekend. I think yeah, it's the main a fair thing point, is but yeah. That I don't die doing this. <laughs> don't let me die doing this, mate. Please don't let me die doing this. I'll try. I'm counting on you, brother. I, I will try. This is where I just start randomly shoving polystyrene in gaps. Tiny, tiny little bits, because this is actually the easier way of doing this bit. It's filler, huh? It will get filler in, dude. Don't worry, I'll get the filler on it. <laughs> Pro painted means kids using the starter set of paints, mate. I, I honestly think it's not even that. It really isn't. It's it's frigging ridiculous what it is, and we all know it is. The thing is, Pro painted is down to an opinion. Yeah. And uh, there's no regulation of it. At all. And there is no arbiter to because. say. You see, I wouldn't mind if eBay had like a painting judge. You'd come along and go, dude, that's not pro painted. He'd be like, no, mate, that's shit. <laughs> just no, just just no. Get back in your corner, try again. Um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not a great painter. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that my skills are, are great or anything like that, but. Yeah, there is a certain discrepancy between 
what I would class as a really well slash pro painted model and some of the stuff that you see on, on eBay described as pro painted exactly like take a model from say I don't know Clayton for example that shit pro painted he yeah he takes time care effort and actually produces something that's unique pretty much every time he puts his, his puts his brush on a model even if it's something that I don't particularly think I, I like the colors of or whatever it's, it's still, still is, beautiful. yeah it's still a good looking model uh, I mean he paints all his army in that fucking Oathway color and I, I don't like that but the models he's painted they still look fucking amazing so I'm with you on that count mate like well, that's, that, it, that's well, saying painting. that I mean Mike stuff. Yeah, my mate was a pro painter. It's realistic. It looks fucking amazing. You know, it's enjoyable just to look at from the terrain, from the model point of view, if you know what I mean. That's pro painting. Using X amount of colours more than tabletop standard is not frigging pro painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Penguin, man. Just just because a kid's fucking autistic doesn't mean you can get away with the sympathy vote. You shouldn't yeah, be... Yeah, you're right. Like, and it's, anyway, it wasn't the kid. It was the fucking dad. I reckon the dad had painted it. Yeah. Blaming the kid. That's a shit shady move. <laughs> it's funny, though. Like, just fuck that. I don't give a fuck, but it, it's true because on eBay you should be treating it as a business transaction, and you it don't is a throw in transaction, isn't it? Yeah, well, you don't throw in. Oh yeah, well, my autistic kid painted it as a legitimate reason for you describing something wrong. That's, and I I wouldn't even go as far as saying it's heartless to kind of go, that's not what I bought because at the end of the day you've spent money on that just because they've tried to get away with something. And got caught, and yeah. caught out, you know, and uh, you know, called out on it, so to speak. Doesn't mean you should feel guilty. No, listen. I mean, if someone had put up, you know, this has been painted by my my watch for my autistic son, then fine. But it was described as pro painted, and when it was questioned, that's when we found out that actually no, it's been painted by my autistic son. Yeah. And it's like, well, it's not pro painted, then, is it? And secondly. You know, that's a that's a dick move, mate. Yeah. Yeah, right, just to admit the painting it's shit and it's not pro painted. Uh, Judge Red saying everything on eBay is pro painted. Um, and yeah, no one decided it was pro painted. It was just idiots always claiming to be pro painted. That's true. Mark says I got a lemon rust off. Um, eBay pro painted, of course. It spent about a month in a tub of Dell. Yeah. We've all been there, brother. We've uh, all been Mr. there. Beetle says two colours and a wash is a standard for cheap pre paints. Mate, that's that's tabletop. Is two colours and a wash. That's tabletop. Because you need like three colours for most like people. Well, I don't know if it's most gaming clubs, but usually to play. In certain groups, they'll say, "Yeah, you need to have at least like three colours on a model." And yeah. Kind of that that ticks that ticks those boxes. Yeah, that's um, if you sell your work for cash, you're a professional. Mm, yeah. Okay. What's that? But that, well, I guess, yeah. Uh, Penguin saying, if you sell your work for cash. Technically, you're a professional in the sense that you are doing it for money. But that doesn't mean you're good at it, I think is the point he's trying to make. Yeah, yeah, I know what he's trying to say. It's the that That's a language thing, isn't it? I mean, we use professional to sort of <laughs> label a, a, a certain artistic ability. Whereas what he's talking to is, is through is the actual commercial aspect of professional. I yeah. get paid for this shit, so it's my professional, is it? I uh, yeah, it's my profession. What what's your profession? 
Oh, I'm a potter. Ooh. What's my profession? <laughs> that's just I, I started going into three hundred there. So excuse me. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> what what's your profession? Oh, I'm a blacksmith. Yeah. I'm a potter. <laughs> See, old friend, I did bring more soldiers than you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. That was just a bit of a curveball to throw in randomly there. Um, Bloody brilliant film, though. Yeah, I love it. The second one's all right. I, I, I haven't seen it, so can't comment. It's it's not great. It's all right. Um, okay, what have we got here? Uh, Rusted saying, cool mini or not, is pro-painted. Usually, yeah, I agree with that for the most part. Get the the top quality models on there. Yeah, that's pro painted. Uh, eBay is piss painted. Yeah. I speak I to an email a guy on Gumtree. So I know you met a guy on Gumtree. No, I emailed a guy on Gumtree. Oh right, you emailed him about meeting up. No, he had a lot of stuff for sale for like a tenner. So I was like, Ooh, Sweet what house, that? dude. Even if I don't get it for a tenner, the amount of stuff he had, it's like, that's a good deal. <laughs> there was like a pretty much um, fully um, a painted, but in good nick, Wave Serpent in this box. And um, like a fuck ton of other stuff as well. And like yeah. I said, he's wanting a tenner for it. So I say, like, even if the rest of it's shit, I have to completely strip everything. That's worth a tenner. Dude, you've got to stick it on eBay as pro-painted. I could. I could do that. You still can, mate. <laughs> I mean, if it's three colour basics, then my Willow stuff will go really well on eBay. At least that's been painted by a seven-year-old who isn't autistic. So how are you doing with your terrain, mate? What are you actually doing now? <laughs> um, I am making a orky crane. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've basically I've got this part of it made. Um, let me just get rid of. I was just reading my emails. Uh, I have. Do, 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 do. Uh, I made this bottom part earlier. Yeah, well, that's nice. And then I've gone through with the the plastic card and just filled out the base of that. I've reinforced this structure in the middle with uh, you can see it down there with the skewers because yeah, yeah. it's going to be supporting the arms. Uh, you see those two top bits there? That's going to basically form the um, like the the join. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The next bit, and I've just started working on the the actual join. That's going to be like a square strut. So you're cooking on gas then, matey? Yeah, just just fighting about making little fancy bits. Hey, dude, listen. Every cut, every glue is one step closer to completed piece. That's the way I look at it. Every shove of a little bit of tiny polystyrene is one close to bed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, get rid, get rid, get rid. Right, that one's done for now. Don't know where that one's from, but we'll sort that out afterwards. <laughs> right, one more to what you call it? One more to put the the basic polystyrene filling in, and then we are actually getting the filler out. Who fucking czar? So it's just this one. This is actually quite a tight fit anyway. I'm not sure if there's going to be any fillering. Well, I mean, I know there'll be fillering, but I don't think there's going to be any major filling work. It's just a gap up here and a gap up here. So that one's going to get done pretty pronto. 
and then I think it's time to make a brew. Get myself squared away for. It's probably going to be the last stage to, of tonight, to be truthful, because once the filler's on, I'm going to have to wait for it to dry anyway before I can put yep. the grit or anything. You know you're what I mean? Stuck. Yeah, you're stuck then. So, I think that will be the front built. It's only a bit of gravel on and then just do the back. So, I know I said I'd do it or drop. Yeah, but I'm actually reaching a limit now on, you know, what I can get done. And I think we put a good effort in. I don't think I've let my mates down. I think they'd be proud of this effort. Well, you know, it's... Do, make sure you do a run through before you wrap up of exactly what you've got done today as well, so that people can kind of go, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> yeah. Or are you, you like, no, nah, I need to go upstairs. No, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little disappointed that I haven't got further. But I think anyone who's watched this has realised that I haven't freaking stopped really. You know, so I've got done what I can get done. Well, I mean, it's like nearly five. Hard, did we? It's nearly five, so. I mean, what? We've got two and a half hours into this show, aren't we? Uh, yes. Freaking hell. Uh, Penguin saying he should start a channel called the Autistic Terrain Tutor, and it's fucking Blue Peter quality terrain. <laughs> Build an entire board out of bog rolls and yogurt pots. When the salt on eBay is pro painted. Yeah, man. You know what? It's getting light outside. I told you, man. Four o'clock. That's it. Trust me, yeah, I know. I'm not normally up at this time. <laughs> Mate, I know this shit. This is like my bedtime. Um, so yeah, I know. Uh, you've got Rob saying good luck, guys. Off to take my son to soccer. Uh, Penguin, right, saying, then, Rob. Penguin saying three colours is Games Workshop's old in-store rules, which also applied to tournaments. Oh, okay, so that's where that's been brought over from. And also says how are you planning to transport this terrain? Some of it seems excessive and difficult to use on a gaming table. It's, In what uh, sense? I think it's because it's big. Yeah, it's big. It's a uh, proper gaming set. Yeah, uh, it's not designed to be taken around from place to place. It's designed for someone to have at their home a bloody great gaming set. You know, if I wanted to make something you could carry around, I'd build shitty little things. Yeah, like I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, even your stuff isn't that small. <laughs> no, right. So. That's all padded in, so theoretically we are on to the filler next. Oh, but first, I need to put kettle on. You stand by the back door for a minute, matey. All right, mate. Oh, God, I've got cramp. <laughs> My legs have gone. Well, I am starting to feel it a bit now, I think. Yeah. You know what you mean? <laughs> it's the daylight that's doing it. Right, brew. Oh, fag. Crack on. Um, yeah, so moving it place to place. Okay, I think the plan is um, Mel is taking it to Mantic and Mantic are shipping it wherever. So in terms of getting it out, it doesn't really matter because Mantic are paying for shipping so it can be as big as you like. Um, in terms of moving place to place, I don't think it's designed to be... Um, 
you know, you don't take it around your pal's house unless you can, like, pack it into the back of your car or something. It's not something you'll be able to, like, uh, certainly the the big corner pieces you won't be able to move around. You'd probably be able to get away with all the small pieces and, like, the centerpiece quite easily to transport. But obviously the big corner pieces are designed to be just that, you know, large, um, like, board corners, keeping it um, contained kind of thing. That <laughs> should be the name of his video, Brew Fire Crack On. Yeah. I would love to see Ted do a 36 hour train marathon just to see exactly how it's done. Is that Andy 2D6 again? Maybe. And it's Terrain Ted. It is. He says Ted might do a 36 hour train marathon to show you how it's really done. Well, mate, add together the time we've been doing this now, and uh, that's what you got to beat. It's combined time, man. Ted can suck my cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Ted can make some trade from that. Yeah, I can see blue outside. <clears throat> right, we're back. <laughs> Don't sound too enthusiastic about it. Enthusiastic about what? <laughs> oh, I'm back. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fucking <yeah. laughs> hell. At least I've got coffee in a bag. Oh. Oh, wow. What a build day. <laughs> they don't last long round here. They don't. But no, wow. I can hear birds chirping now. It's like this every time I go to bed. It's mental. Dude, I don't know how you do it. Right, where are we at? Right, let's move these tools over here. Let's clear some space up. I have to clean the tools up in the morning. I'm at that point where I'm like, right, I need to find some inspiration for what I need to do next. <laughs> I know that one well. Right, let's pull this one out. Uh, what games in what sense, mate? Like computer games or as in like tabletop type like, stuff? Oh, oh he's, <laughs> the gauntlet has been laid down. Penguin saying, to be fair, Ted could do an hour marathon and as long as it didn't involve fag and tea breaks, he would have got more done than now has. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, mate, I collect uh, 40k. Um, Games-wise, I play on my computer. Uh, I'm a WoW. I'm, I'm one of those. I play WoW. And at this point in time, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, there we go. Black Tower's got his bird size moth. <laughs> so, mate, did, did you actually put the filler on that now? Are you just clearing up? Or are you Me, now? I haven't even gone near the filler yet, mate. Okay. That's a whole other job. Okay. I'm just checking. <sighs> yeah, okay. For tabletop stuff, I don't actually play, in quotes, anything at this point. Uh, I collect 
40k stuff, but I will be having my first game after getting back into the hobby, hopefully, uh, in about three weeks time. Uh, I just need to get on and get my shit painted. Uh, yeah, on top of all the stuff I've got to make, I haven't given you my list of paint job to do, have I? Alright Mark, cheers mate. Uh, he's saying it's starting to get light and the kids will be up soon, so going to get a little bit of sleep and we'll be back soon. Thank you for the great night and keep it up. Nice one matey. See you at the turnaround. Um, so yeah, for, for what I need to have painted, or at least have some colour, or even just have made, I've got to finish my scratch build Autark on jet bike with Mads of the Laughing God, so that's currently in bits, so I need to completely redo that, or start that, I guess. I've got my <laughs> five striking scorpions to do, two wave serpents, Crimson Hunter Exarch, and five warp spiders. Not much then, mate. No, on top of the terrain. <laughs> and the shit I'm going to be sending you. <laughs> oh, man. That's going towards it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, where's my cloth? Because I do need that. Did I bring it in or is it in the kitchen? No, oh. the, um, the, there is a group that I know of, but that's Milton Keynes. Um, so, I've been told... I can... go to Milton Keynes. <laughs> no, I've been told I could join a group in Milton Keynes, but, like, that... That was like a, yeah, when you moved out and you can join. And I'm like, okay, that would be great. And then I've not really heard much about it since. So um, I'll have to, to remind the guy that said I could join that he said I could join. <laughs> Where's my green bloody cloth gone? Woman! I bet the woman's moved it with it being uh, a cloth. It's always the woman's fault. Always. Without a shadow of a doubt. Right. I'll have to use a towel then. Her fault. Uh, Here's a towel. She'll kill me. I better use baby wipe. <sighs> <sighs> right. Sit back down. Oh, another mouthful of coffee. Let me fag out. Crack on. Right, basically the next task I've got to do is dead simple. I'm just sealing the gaps with filler around here. So seal this in here. Seal this in here. Yeah, and then around the base. Okay, and this is this is applying thick filler, so I'll be putting it on with my finger. Your finger? <laughs> this finger here. <laughs> it helps if it's wet. Just give it a good stir. Work it up on your finger. You know when you've got the right consistency and it's ready for it. Then just plunge in. Now, I'm not being pretty with this because I know gravel's going over it. Uh, no, I, I agree with Like, Milton Keynes is um, maybe about 30 minutes from me. Um, There's a cracking so, club in Milton Keynes. Is there? Yeah, call the Pink Panther. You'll love it, mate. <laughs> uh huh. Why? Why does that sound suspicious? <laughs> it's a bit like the Blue Lagoon, isn't it? Or the Blue Oyster, was it? Is it? Uh, is it one of them? Is it? It's a bit like that, yeah. Do you know what? This is actually a really nice part of the build. Do you know why? Why is that? Bill is cold. <laughs> yeah, fair. Go in there, you get. Mm. 
Now it's raining again. Too friggin' late. Still got a fucking wham song in my head. <laughs> That's going to take months to get out, That's, you bastards. That's terrible. How can you do that to me? It's for charity, mate. You're the one. I reckon DMG's going to be getting up soon, isn't he? Um, they. I Aussies are ahead of us, aren't they? They're ahead, yeah. Yep. Five hours, we reckon? Uh, <laughs> Rusted says, I want to thank Mel for leaving his trousers on tonight. That's uh, very much appreciated. Look, dude, there was no hope of them, them coming off. I may have had to take my top off because I'd be like, it's fine again, fucking cool here. <sighs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Penguin says he's pro painting his clothes rusted. Yep. <laughs> Come here, you get. You filler, he said. It'd be easy, he said. This is the easy bit, he says. Yeah, of course it is. Oh shit, there's damage there. Right, I'll have to weather, weather that out. Yeah, just remember about that, both. Yeah, actually, that bit's probably going to get filled with the brush. So if I just put a little bit in there, just take it up to the edges, we should be okay on that count. Have the comments died down now, or are we still going? Uh, we've got 12 people watching That's still. still a lot. Yeah. Um, it's stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, for penguins, us penguins in the UK as well. Like, Andy's in the UK. Penguins in the UK. Um, it's the UK posse, is it? It seems to be, which is impressive, considering it's 10 to 5 in the morning. Yeah. Um, Bunch of drunkards. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Penguin. I totally had that shit happen to me where I used to live. Uh, he's saying the problem with the uh, the problem with this area is everyone is in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's hard to get a group together, and the ones I've found made bad choices. Well, so I I used to live in a village um, near Glasgow. And I say near Glasgow. It was like kind Go of on. too far away from Glasgow to be able to get to Glasgow easily enough and it was kind of isolated so yeah so you fucked before you even started then basically <laughs> yeah pretty much so you know started collecting and it's like yeah well there's no one to actually game with so I'll just be collecting <laughs> um Oh, Mike Epting is still here, is back. Um, Ray, welcome back, Mike. Uh, what? I thought this was pants optional. Oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. Yep, okay. It's all right, he's not on cam. Uh, Rusted says it's not even midnight here. <laughs> um, he's American. So yeah, that's about right. Five hours or more behind, so that fits. Uh, Smitty says you should be getting close to to midnight. Depends. Five hours behind. East coast is five hours behind. West coast. Yeah, what, what, is I be... don't even know what the west coast is. Isn't that like eleven or something like that? Uh, I don't know if it's that much, but yeah, it's it's more. <laughs> it's significant, isn't it? It's it's a fair bit. 
Uh, I think it's probably more like eight, eight or nine. If that. Um, Smitty says, yeah, the closest gamers I have are an hour away, but they don't game the same things as me, so that really doesn't help much. And uh, yeah, judges say the US here. So I think we've got a couple of UK people here, but for the most part, I think we're. We're surrounded by Americans. We're, we're with the Americans. Until our Australian Commonwealth brothers join us. Didn't we have a lovely time the time we went to Bangor? Okay, okay, it's five and seven. So it's five and seven difference, is it, between east and west coast? Yeah. All right. Well that's not too bad. You say five and seven, but it's five o'clock in the morning here. So it's actually six. Yeah, we're talking British summertime again, aren't we? Six and eight, yeah. You, you guys... Don't get that. We... Our clocks go uh, forward. Our, time changes in the UK in summer. We we basically change an hour. We pretend an hour never happened. And we you relive it. Change your, they, they have something similar. Um, is it... But it doesn't have a U in. It's a savings. It's some savings time. I'm pretty sure they have something similar anyway. Oh, so um, five minutes. Five minutes to midnight on the east coast. Okay, so yeah, that's five hours. Yeah, that's five hours. We're happy with that calculation. Rip that bit off because that doesn't belong there. But that is very quickly bring that out. Sweet as. You know what? We may not finish these, but I definitely think we broke the back of the buggers. Because these were lumps of polystyrene when we started. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you, you say you've broken the back of it, and you'll definitely have them done by like the end of the weekend, which I don't think is that far off, really. No, no, that's 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 happy level, mate. You know what I mean? Yep. So next one, do this one next. Right. This one's actually really not too bad. There's only little bits on here that need doing because of the nature of the build. It's quite a tight hole to pack. So just let me try and get that in there without screwing the plastic up. Brush will go in there, so that's okay. Uh, I did have baby wipes, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Come on, just clean that off. Oh, fucking flying ants. Honestly, they don't fucking start swarming me here. It pisses me off. With the well, hot flies started again. Huh? You got flies starting again. Not flying ants. 
Oh, fucking hell, you get everything there, don't you? Mate, they're fucking disgusting. I hate them. They're the big fuckers as well. <laughs> Not the nice sort of finance. No, you you get smaller ones, and then just fucking huge things. They're like three quarters of an inch to an inch long, and they just sort of land on all your shit. And like, you can't like with a fly, you can kind of wave it away, and it will go, oh shit, fly away. Yeah, whereas the these ant, people, like stare at you. No, they fucking bite you and everything. They're nasty. <laughs> Honestly, I really fucking hate them. I'm picking up that vibe, dude. I'm really picking up that vibe. <laughs> You're picking up the slight rage in my voice. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, how am I going to do that deal for Pat now? I know how I'll deal with that. I know exactly how I'll deal with that. I'll put a massive wadge around there. I'll bring that into there. Uh, a wadge is a technical term for measurement here in the UK. You may not be familiar with it in the States. It basically means a shed load. It's a, a nondescript term for a particular unit of measurement, but yeah. It works for us. It's not a bob. <laughs> no. Definitely not a bob. Of either persuasion. Yeah, true, true. I'm with you, brother. I'm <laughs> with you. Okay, yeah. They're all pretty much joined in pretty well. Uh, yeah, I need to just wedge some more around here. That way you kind of realise you're, you're, you're cutting something out in the middle of a bit of plastic card when you could have put it like right at the edge. Yeah, yeah, I've done that before now. Saved, like... Ages and tons of plastic card. Yeah, and it's a thick fucker as well. So <laughs> the two mil. Yep. Genius, mate. Absolute genius. Ah, uh, you can. T I'm on the ball now. The fuck is that? Kerry's hair. I don't know how it's got into the build. What are you looking at me like that for? Are you going to bed? Coming in uh Um, how much time do we think we're gonna be still here? To be truthful, mate, I've got just watch I reckon another twenty minutes and then we're gonna be knocking it on the head. Twenty minutes. Because I don't think I can survive much longer, to be perfectly honest. And I'm reaching a point where I'm going to have to let this filler dry before I can take it any further. Shit. You know, there is. I was, you know, if we'd have got masses and masses done, then there would have been a possibility of me sort of working on some small plastic detail while this was drying. But you know, I ain't sitting around twiddling my thumbs. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of the night, waiting for plaster to dry, just so I can carry on. Um, it doesn't work like that, guys. You know, that's just not common sense. I mean, for all the do it or drop, I have got kids. <laughs> and I reckon, mate, we've done a fair fucking effort tonight. Uh, I've done, done well. And um, there's been a fair fair whack of money raised as well, so you can't really argue with it. And the people that have been following us from, from early on as well, is it's really, really good. We've had a cracking night, mate. And I broke the back of this project, you know. I think the hardest one. thing for me with this was the watch got it actually getting the rocks carved, shaped. Because that was what? That was a grueling almost four hours. That bit. So overall, I'm pleased with that. So I just want to fill these little bits in here. Sorry, mate. That's all right, dude. Just had the woman. She's saying, "Come to bed." Um, not quite. She's saying, "I'm going to bed." Um. And you want to go to bed with her? I, I don't, don't blame you. I mate, wanted to no. go to bed with Kaz. I am saying that we'll be done in twenty minutes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon twenty minutes, mate, will be done.
Or in 20 minutes, yeah, I'll be crashed anyway, so it's over. <laughs> well, either or, mate, I don't mind. Well, we'll just soldier on with this last little bit. Get this filler in where we can. I am um, making orky stuff, so it's fine. I can't really fuck it up. <laughs> you got to fuck things up pretty bad to fuck up orky train, haven't you? Yeah. I'm making a banner to go on a pole outside... You make sure. The well, no, this is to go outside the fort actually, which will form the headquarters for this particular clan of orcs. So oh, okay. I will be making like a an angry looking orc face for a banner pole. Well, do out the front and uh, that's all sort of standard orky, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's basically at the moment it's standard orky, but I'm gonna add like random bits on the top that like they've been um, riveted on, kind of thing. Sweet. Um, greed. Super greed. So. Super greed. Ruby Ra. Right, that's that bit sort of done. Done as it can be. So I mean, hey, look, cutting this plastic card as well. I don't think it does any favors to your exacto knives. Oh no, mate! It certainly doesn't. I can't believe I've blunted rocks on polystyrene. That was funny. That's it. That's a new skill set for me. That's a real new skill set. Managing to blunt rocks on polystyrene. That one's done. Is that rusted back on the tally? Yeah, man. We, we've done well. 85899. 85899. That's frigging brilliant, that is. <coughs> that really is frigging brilliant. Right, I may need to do two layers on this, so I may need to just bang a layer on quick. Yeah, then come back and do some more on it, because this has got some quite heavy filling on. I don't think you'll get both layers done tonight. Oh, no, I won't get both layers done tonight. Yeah, if I could get both layers done tonight, I'd finish the bloody piece, but that's the whole point. The filler, say, filler takes more. too long to dry for that, doesn't it? Yeah, for that stuff. So we'll get, the, we'll get it locked in. Yeah, and then we can watch call it. We should be good for coming back. Or I, I should be good for coming back. Listen, what was Kez saying about doing another earlier? Mate, she was talking to you, wasn't she? I have no clue. You'll have to ask her. I genuinely oh, she don't She won't have a fucking clue. She was drunk. Uh, I was apologising for dropping you in it with the the 2, uh, <laughs> the two a.m. one. Oh, yeah. I do, I'm sure I told her. I'm sure I told her, but if it hasn't filtered through, then it hasn't filtered through, has it? Hey ho. I get that all the time. I, I even got told the other day that apparently I'd left the car at the local shop. I'm like, I don't fucking remember leaving the car at the local shop, like <laughs> ever. So I don't know. We're either getting old, dude. I swear she makes shit up sometimes to make me think. Do you know what? I'm sure Kez does. Just so I sit there going, I have no recollection of that. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, you definitely did. No, you definitely did. I'm like, what? No, I fucking didn't. Like, I never go anywhere without like my car keys and that, and I'm sure I wouldn't have like if left the made, car. Yeah, if I've made the effort to fucking drive to the shop, I'm not gonna leave the fucking car there, am I? It's <laughs> so. What do these women think we are? Do you know what I mean? Some of the stuff they try and pull with us. Yeah. Like, you're joking. I know I wouldn't have done that. Darling, if I'd have ordered something that big for you, I'd have told you. I didn't yeah. order that. Definitely didn't. But if you want to try it out, you know, I'm game for that. Do you have this sort of same thing as I have, like, and summer parties? Yeah, you just go and buy something, darling. No, man, she's, um, 
Like, genuinely, she doesn't really get too much chance to socialize in that. Like, this year was the first time that we got to go away. Like, she just said it was the first time she got to go on holiday for, like, eight years. Shit, dude. So, like, I mean, Always it was... No play, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, but it was, I mean, it was to Sky and that, and so it was, it was nice, but, you know, it's... It's, Mate, you've got to make time for yourselves. I know you're helping lots of animals and that sort of stuff, but it ain't going to help you if you guys have a melt meltdown in the process, is it? Yeah, I know that. Oh, well, that's this is it. I mean, she's got like a lot of her own stuff that she does that kind of is downtime stuff, which is yeah, why yeah. I get a lot of time to do like my hobby stuff because she's doing helps, her stuff. Yeah, it helps to give her that space just to, you know, do what get out of my does. way. Yeah, just to do what works best for her to to get that chillax time in. But yeah. no, man, it's it's difficult because I mean the the only reason we were able to get away was because we were able to take some of the hoglets with us that were in a uh, we had a couple of hoglets come in that were in a dodgy way, and uh, most of the animals that were in were being overwintered and hibernating. So you know they weren't really requiring. Care. Much, much in way, yeah, exactly. Yeah, much in the way of care. Um, so that was that, and uh, we got to get away for a bit. But Ooh. nah, it's 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 difficult, mate. I do know it's difficult. It's an interesting situation to be in. Um, it's a passion, though, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it's what she loves doing, and I'm more you know, than happy to support. Those her as are best the things you sacrifice your life for, your passions. You know, but on the great day when we find out we've been ruled by a hedgehog overlord, <laughs> Wasn't me. she's in luck, isn't she? Well, it depends. <laughs> Maybe. We'll oh, right. <laughs> you could be the, oh, you kept my hedgehog brethren in captivity whilst they were... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they should have been free following nature's way and you captured them. <laughs> you artificially kept them alive. I don't think she'd be happy doing anything else, you know. Ah, uh, women folk are like that, mate. Right. All I've got to do is just stick this one down and just get this polystyrene so it's actually all blending together. I'll actually disguise it tomorrow because it's going to be two thick coats. So, right now I just need to make it one structural model. And this is the last. Hey, you know that bully? The one Corbin was. Yeah, yeah. Yep. What do you call it? He hasn't been in school since Corbin had him. <laughs> good. Good, good. That's well, right. I, I hope he comes back all fucking humble and shit. I I said in a in a not trying to be nasty to him, but I I hope he learns something from it as well. Yeah. Stop being a twat. Yeah. He probably didn't because I've heard he you know within hours he was focusing on another kid that he thought was an easy mark. Um, but it ain't Corbin, so you know I just have to sort of resign myself to that fact. And you know I've told Corbin, you know. Well, if this other kid's one of your mates, you know, you stick up for your mates, but he's got to fight his own battles as well. Yeah, otherwise you become the, oh, come and, hit, come and sort this guy out. And you don't want that either. Nope. But you can turn around and tell him that, you know, you can stand up to him, and if you want to come play with us, that's cool. He can't hurt you. Bullies, eh? Fucking hell. Fucking hell, we're back you, up you think Steve. life would have moved on, si you know, since that bollocks when we were at school? <laughs> okay, here we go. I think this is the Aussies coming back on now. Is it? Fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've got. Is it? Uh, what is it started swearing T lots. TG Zobo, Zobo, uh, bloody hell, still going, mate. Popped in for a while, about half an hour after you started. Yeah, they're still going. Yeah, we're still going. Uh, we're building shit. We're almost finished, to be truthful. I'm getting proper daylight now. I can actually see pink. Yep. Why do you think we have blackout blinds in the bedroom? 
Us two. The daylight, it burns. Oh, the only thing is, I hate getting into like a warm bed, man. I, I can't stand it. Oh, I've got no problem. If my Kez is in there before me. The thing is, the dog will be on my side. Yeah. But he knows that the moment I walk in the room, he gets off the bed. He's well trained on that count. On account of the bollocks being shown on the shower. Not just that, on the account that if he doesn't get off the bed, I kick him off the bed. <laughs> so he sees it as a necessary evil just to get off and let me get into bed. And then he sort of sits with his chin on the bed, huffing, waiting for Kerry to go, come on, get on there. And Kerry has to move her legs to get let the dog get on and lie by her side. And I'm like, ain't lying on my side. Yeah, right, fuck that. Me and the dog have an understanding. I'll walk you. I'll feed you. You ain't fucking having me bad though. End of. I don't care how much I love you. Man, I fucking hate this thick plastic card shit. <laughs> Oh, it's so not like. Have you ever wondered why you don't see me using it much in builds? <laughs> no, well, I'm just going to, I think, to be honest, I'm going to cut this lower jaw out and then I'm going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to cut the rest of it out on the bandsaw. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, it's your right, dude. If you've got proper tools, do that, you can just fly through it. It's just uh, a little bit late to be doing that now. <laughs> it is, but then again, all I've got to do is just this bit corner here. Yeah, and I'm done, so I think we'll be winding it in the next five, mate. All right, that's cool. I have to have a little bit of a tidy, because it's not fair for Kez get up to, like, an absolute shithole. Uh, it's just a little bit of a tidy. Yeah, don't push it. <laughs> I don't want to get in ideas. Uh, Black Tower is saying you guys will be building terrain in your dreams after this long build. I think Mo already was. I was, mate. Mantic stuff, I was dreaming about clipping it out. It's like purgatory. <laughs> it was horrible. Blob on there, and then I think I'm effectively done. Right, just wet my finger. Smooth everything out a bit. I'll be back for put the second sort of layer on tomorrow. Once this one sort of dries, I can do the graveling and just coat the watch call it. So it's looking good. It's looking fucking good to be truthful. Right, let me go wash my hands. Oh, right. That is the sound of the plastic card breaking of its own accord. It has been cut sufficiently. Oh, baby, baby. 
I think all in all, that was a cracking build session, mate. <laughs> yeah. Right, just let me put some, let me put my SpongeBob onesie back on properly. Because it's actually chilled down here now. Now it's another day. You. Oh. Me. Yeah, Joe. Right, guys. <laughs> Joe, Joe kindly informed me before she went upstairs. She's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, we're up again at half nine. Oh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> nice of her to drop that one on you now. Yeah, she's like, oh, I just got a message there last night. I was like, fuck's sake. Tell me the advance woman. Yeah, well, she can right, so what have we got here? Let's have a look. Right, there we are. This is all sort of drying and getting there and you know how it works. But we've got the modules done. We've got all the hills carved. We've got all the pieces in, the modules are primed, they're glued in. We've done a bloody good job, mate. Yep. Right, so our final total was 858, wasn't it? 858.99. So essentially we've just done just short of £200 today. Yep. Sweet as. Really, I really appreciate it, guys. You know, you guys have been there for us on and off through the entire day. Some have stuck with us. It's been a long friggin' day. <laughs> right. It has been a long friggin' day. Yeah, the canine monkey's saying what you're doing. Just tidying up. We, uh, mm -hmm. Or as my, uh, as my granddad would say, we're redding up. Um, we're just getting squared away a little bit. At the end of the day, the wife's got to come down in the morning. Yeah, and what I don't want to come down to is an absolute shit tip. Yeah. A moderate shit tip she can deal with. An absolute shit tip. You know, I'll get woken up. And that won't be good for me. <laughs> yeah. Very quick brush round. And then we'll say goodbye. Bunny says, plastic cards just plain brutal on your hands after a while. When making orky stuff, I mostly went with the thinnest sheet I could find and just doubled up. Yeah, man, I'm, I I have got like a, a cutter, which will do it better, like a electronic saw thing, and I'm just going to fucking blitz it with that tomorrow. Yeah, that's the way to do it, mate. Um, brush all this up here. I'm going to have to tidy it up that lot in the morning because there's more polystyrene than I've got room in my bin for. But she'll understand that bit. I know she will. Andy, so says, well done. Andy says, well done. Not quite on Ted's level, but you're all right. Oh, we've done it, haven't we, mate? <laughs> we friggin' did it. A monster session. We broke the back of the build. I actually feel like I'm going to get this finished on time now. Nah, you will, mate. No problem at all, especially if Mike's helping you with the painting. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know it yet, but he is. <laughs> right, okay. <I'm>, uh... <laughs> um, okay, uh, Snake says, good job, guys, get some friggin' sleep. Anybody says, guys, what you did today was really inspiring and should be appreciated. I truly mean that. Uh, Listen, guys. Penguin says daylight. It's actually friggin' daylight. Penguin saying, Mel, go stick your ass in the fridge. <laughs> I don't need to now, but it was a possibility. <laughs> oh. I was looking at Joe's idea and thinking, that's not a bad idea. Because mm -hmm. I've been sitting on my arse all day as well. Mm -hmm. With about 20 minutes exception. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys. Right, listen. Oh, to everyone who's watching, no. I think it's time to knock it on the head, John. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm, I'm about done, man. Yeah, in which case, guys, thank you for sticking with us through this ridiculously long marathon session. Thanks for the encouragement. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the laughs. Just thanks for everything. I feel like I did it. I haven't dropped... I will by the time I get to that door. <laughs> but we've achieved tonight. I believe we could achieve and we achieved. Oh. 
Right, yeah, guys. Uh, I'm Mel the Terrain Tutor. Thanks for helping us on this charity build. This gentleman coming over right now is John McLeod. The comment yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a frigging star for sticking with us this whole <laughs> way. Yeah, listen, John, I will probably catch you. you know, I'll have a quick word with you as soon as we stop the broadcast. But All right. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Listen, guys. Bye. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Bye. Stop broadcast.